to What's up? April 29th, 1 p.m. It's Friday, baby. Yeah. Hila? Ethan? It's Friday. Baby. You're here. You rolled up. You're flexing on us. Show up that head. Show up that unreleased. Teddy Fresh, which is coming out soon. That looks so fire. Damn, hold on. Okay. Oh, that's you want to put your feet up so we can get a full fit, Jack? Uh, I mean, sure. It's all happening. You know? Little grandpa look? feet. Yeah, no, it's all happening. It's all here. Can I ask you a question? I've heard that women do this. Uh-oh. <laughs> do you ever just shave your ankles? Um, if, if I need to, yes. Interesting. There you have it. Did you guys know that? I know someone that does that. <laughs> oh, really? You? Does it happen to be your wife? It's me. I, I <laughs> Wait, feeling. you do that? You shave your ankles? <laughs> Wait, what? Why do you shave your ankles? It's Lena. I didn't want to expose her. It's Lena. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's a thing that, that women do, and God bless them for that. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. To be presentable to the world. No, I get it. I feel like if I if that was something that I did, I would do that every day. Because we all gotta pretend that we don't have hair on our body. Yeah, I'm not doing I'm not doing <laughs> all that. I'm just shaving the ankles. <laughs> you know, I can't even I can't even be uh, bothered to shave my face, and here I am. I'm like an <laughs> entertainer. I'm in front of the camera. <laughs> uh, Lena, you just got exposed by AB. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Shaving your ankles. <laughs> she just stepped I, in. I, I she, was, she was. She was. She was AFK. Hold on. I, for shaving your ankles, sometimes you know, if you like, you know, you're working hard and you need to go somewhere, and you may show your ankles and you didn't have chance to shave. We were just saying how it's common amongst women. I said I know a girl that does that. Ethan Preston. No, no, you said no. You said I know <laughs> yes. a person that I does that. I know a person that, that does that. Yeah. Oh, what's? Well, it's not really exposing. I mean, it's the same as shaving your legs. So it's not Thank yeah, you, exactly. Lena. That's exactly yeah. what I was saying. Okay, cool. I just went here. Exactly. Thanks, Lena. See, unashamed. Hell yeah. Proud queen. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. They're saying nice fit, Lena. Nice fit, Lena. Nice fit, Lena. <laughs> Jesus, I just thought it was you. interesting, you know, you get insights into the, uh, shit, yes, whatever you guys find interesting, yeah. What is the guy, well, I wonder what's something that guys do that women would find surprising. You know what I mean? Hmm. As far as, like, grooming habits? Yeah, just in general. Um, I, I shave their armpits. I got one. Do you use a washcloth in the shower to clean your ass? Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> I've heard you're supposed to do that. Really? Like, that's like a thing, yeah. Wait, you use a, well? I know people use washcloths. So if I'm using a washcloth, or a uh, what do you call those sponges? Loofah. Loofa? Yeah, loofah. I'll use it to wash my ass, but like not inside my ass. Is that what you mean? I heard you're supposed to use a washcloth. No, no, no. He, that's not what he means. Inside your ass? No, like, like stick it in. Like wipe your butthole. Wait, what? When you're are taking we when you're taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> when you're taking a shower, I heard you're cool. supposed to thoroughly clean your ass by putting some soap or whatever, lather it up on the towel, and really get in that corner. Yeah, maybe if your asshole's like, about to get eaten. But who takes care of the dirty washcloth? Mm. Well, you you do a, a pre-soak before before you do the. So you keep uh -huh. it in the shower. I'm more concerned with after. There might be a little brown town on there, but you know. Yo. <laughs> I'm not saying I do it. I'm a hand guy. You know. So have card you style. ever done oh, that? Oh, you shove your hand up there? Credit card style with some soap. Yeah. I'm yeah. never shaking your hand again. That's disgusting. I mean, I don't well, because I wash in the shower. <laughs> you That's just told true. Me to stick your hand up your fucking ass. It's when I right. shower, you don't wash your ass <laughs> in the shower. Card? Swipe my own ass. He's no. got a. I mean, Zach is <laughs> he's practicing cleanliness. You don't you don't put soap in your ass in the shower, Amy. Well, do you wash your asshole? Because I'm not sure that that's like sometimes if it's like real messy down there. I've been having like a week of diarrhea. What do you guys mean, like? Well, you can wa you wipe your butt. You can wash your butt. Okay. But then there's the hole. Oh, like going in? Do you wipe the? Do you actually get to the hole and soap it up? <laughs> you know. So I think so, that I think the credit card analogy is perfect. Right? Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. It, it explains everything. Yeah. No, that's. 
Yeah, but there's, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you can clean the hole itself, or you could just swipe right. it. Sure, Cor correct. But you need so a, you, but you need, you're, yeah, okay. You, you need a more thorough swipe to really get a, you know, this, so, this so, is American Express, you know. So where did you hear that? What, the credit card analogy? No, about that you need to use a washcloth to clean the, the ass. I think I saw something on, on uh, Twitter or something like that where it's like you need to thoroughly... Can we fact check that? Because I'm pretty sure there's no chance that that's true. <laughs> I mean, humans have been existing for a long time without, wipe, without uh, washclothing our assholes. I'm not talking necessarily like put it up your asshole. I'm just using it. Well, I think I misunderstood Zach. I thought he was talking ass. about bare hand. No, in the shower. Yeah, bare hand in the shower. You're bare handing, swiping well, your ass. Well, what do you do, well, AB? <laughs> I use a loofah. Oh, you oh, do? So you loofah your asshole. So you're no better than Zach. Yeah. I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, when you. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Zach is hold on. Hold on. Time out. When, 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 you, when you take a shower, AB. Yeah. You get in the shower, you know, you, you hit the water first and you soap up under your arms and on your chest and stuff like that. What do you do to clean your butt? I use a loofah. Every uh. time to wash your ass. I never put my bare hand in my asshole, mm. no. Why not? I mean, you're in the shower. Yeah. With soap. I do. I bare hand my ass. Interesting. In the shower with soap. Of course, yes. Right. You know. Interesting. Because the loofah goes on the rest of your body, right? Yeah, in, the, in no particular order. But it's not like I'm getting like up in the the hole. It's just like the cheeks. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. And you hit on something really good, Ela. <laughs> when you wa when you guys wash your body, do you hit the ass area last? Because you don't want, like Ela said, to spread <laughs> the ass around the rest of the body. Yeah, I do that area last. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I go. I do. I like. I work down like washing a car. You know. Mm. So you do. You know, chest area, belly button. Always get the belly button, and then I do mm. the balls, the gooch, then the ass. That's in, that's good. Yeah. Do you wash your feet, or you just let the soap run over it? Just let the soap run over so it. So you don't wash your feet. I feel like that'd be, like... I actually started washing my legs, and specifically my toes, because I noticed that when I clip my nails... Now, I don't have fungus, and my toes are, look nice, right, Hila? I mean, they're, mm -hmm. they're You're clean. You're number one on wiki feet. Exactly. Yeah. You, yeah. Guys, you guys have seen my feet. Yeah, you no know question. what they look like. But I noticed when I was clipping my toenails, it stunk really bad. <laughs> hmm. Like huh. just a really, like if you smell the nail, Ew. or even if you just smell your fingers afterwards, it's like a really pungent smell. It's gross. But what I noticed is when I started wa actually getting down there and washing my legs, because I was like you, you let the water run, and you think that's enough. It's not enough. You wash your legs, and then your feet, and your, you get in the toes, the smell's gone. So do you bend over and do it in the shower, or do you like... like you know, I meet, I meet in the middle. <laughs> or I'll, I'll put my foot up, you know, I'll put my foot up. There's usually like a little stand there in the shower, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I recommend definitely washing the feet and toes. Okay, I'll get on. I'll get another feet. opinion on this. What's, the, what's in another opinion? I want to smell feet. Oh, you want, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. First of all, White Claw Gabe in the building. It is Friday. Oh, where are we today? TGIF. TGIF, baby. Woo! Hey, God, it's Friday. Baby. Where are you? Woo. That's where he, I think he's at I'm Friday. At TGIF. Oh, you're I'm literally at TGIF. At TGIF. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's Friday, <laughs> baby. TGIF. Fuck, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> What'd you get? I got wings, fries. Oh, my God. Diet Coke, and then maybe some Sunday later. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Man, that's a TGIF, baby. Fuck yeah, baby. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby. Ow, 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 <laughs> What's your plans for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday? <laughs> um, so we're going to do something fun with the family tomorrow. I wanted to ask you about Coachella. How was it? I mean, everyone was admiring it's, your fit, by yeah. the way. Your fit was went it's hard. It's great, man. It's great. I enjoyed it a lot. It's kind of dusty. They don't, they don't have unpleasant bathroom. It's mostly porta potties, but oh. it's a great experience. So you're telling me all I the beautiful girls with all their beautiful outfits no. go potty in a porta potty? Hell no. no. They have VIP uh, access. I can't, I can't okay. stand. Yeah. <laughs> I got VIP, but all the all the stuff is all porta potties. I can't. <laughs> Wow. Did you have to take a dump in a porta potty? I did once. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Did and you Oh, we got your fit up on the screen. I got to ask, Ooh. did you put your outfit together or do you have a stylist? Um, 
or I kind of have someone else help me with my choosing the outfit and oh, stuff. Oh, you do? Fuck me. Okay. Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> Was it your um what uh, your what's your relation with the guy who usually you're with? That's your cousin or your Nick? It's kind of like my Nick. nephew. Kind of like oh your nephew, you. right? Right. Yeah. Did, was it was it Nick that helped you with the fit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all. Awesome. He knows what's best. What's for Coachella? He's a Coachella experience, <laughs> and so I'm just a rookie. <laughs> so tell me about when you took the dump in the porta potty. Was it like uh? Did it's you right have to squat? Coachella. Did you sit on the <laughs> on the seat or did you have to squat? Oh uh, no, uh, it wasn't at Coachella, but it ha it has to be at a football game where I was like urgent. So I kind of like I just kind of like I don't want to touch it, but I just like kind of like aim it towards the thing. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and what did it like squirt or you plop it in there? It kind of squirt. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> fuck, baby. Fuck, yeah. So you were having a little <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> that wasn't at Kachup, but it wasn't another event. <laughs> Dude, all right. Well, you got to do what you got to do. We all know that. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby. Ow, 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 ow. is a great experience, you know. Oh, Went I'm to glad you had fun. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. I'm thinking about going to TGIF today. <laughs> it's Friday, oh. after all. It is Friday. Yeah. It, is it good? Do you recommend it? It's, it's good, you know. There's a lot of stuff. Now, I tried the I tried the um, ribs. It's pretty good, and some fries. All right. And had some good Sundays. Hell yeah. And fish and chips. Oh. <laughs> Feel like fish. <laughs> okay. Fuck me. Fuck yeah. Fuck baby. Ooh. Fuck fuck fuck. Suck. She suck my dick, bitch. Or what is that? <laughs> what was suck it? My dick. Suck my dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is Love that new? That. Yeah, he's working. He's got a he's got a few new uh, tools in the. Ela, it's been a while. Do you have any stuff you want to workshop on Ela? I, um, I know horse cock energy. Horse yeah, cock that, energy I love good. that one. Yeah. <laughs> I know pissing my ass. Fuck me, pissing fuck my yeah. ass, yeah. baby, bitch. Okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How about cocksucker? <laughs> cocksucker, yeah, that's a classic. Sucker. Classic. I'm yes. a cocksucker. Is that what he said? Well, he just said, "How about cocksucker?" Oh, just, how about? <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, interrupt your meal there. Yeah, your food is getting cold. It's a beautiful Friday for a beautiful meal Woo! at TGIF. <laughs> Oh, Thank God it's Friday. Thank God. Ow, 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 Fuck, baby, fuck. Friday, baby. Friday, baby. Ow. Friday, fuck. Fuck, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck, yeah. Suck my dick. 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 Yeah. Ow, ow. Ow. Yeah, baby, it's Friday. Ow. Happy to see you. All right. Everybody's in a good mood. It's Friday. Oh, yeah. All right, you take care, okay? Have a good weekend. Take care. Take care. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Ciao, ciao, bitch. <laughs> ciao, Bella. Oh, miss ya. That was a good one. Oh, he actually hung up. Oh. I was just gonna let it hang indefinitely that time. Yeah, no, I. Yeah, that's good. How about TGIF for dinner? I never. Have you ate been there? there. No. You know what I like that they do there? They have these a nacho platter, mm. but it's only like eight chips, and each one is like perfect. Oh, I think you told me about that. Bro, I live for that. Great Jello shots, too. Jello, Jello shots. Jello shot. Mm -hmm. What wow. the hell is I'm that? I'm not ordering that at a restaurant. That seems kind of crazy. <laughs> what they're known it's for? It. It's like uh, they mix alcohol and Jello. And no then, way. And then you put Jello in a shot glass, and then you just eat the Jello, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You've never experienced that before? No. Oh, I guess it's yeah. It's probably just an American like college I don't believe staple. You guys. What? Oh no, it's. Are you um, real? Yeah, yeah. No, we're being serious. <laughs> we're totally serious. Here, like gummy Jello bears shot. Alcohol. Yeah. It's so crazy that you think we're lying to you, huh? 
You, you know, that yeah, no, a, it's, I mean, this is, it's a jello shot. You just what? shoot the jello and it's got like vodka in it. Does it taste? It like... tastes like ass. Yeah, it tastes like alcohol. <laughs> but I guess it's supposed to mask. But it has like the... gooey texture, like jello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it's jello. You slurp and it And it like goes jello. down like a shot? Yeah. Some people think it's easier. It's not that bad. Yeah. Um, what you doing this weekend? I'll show you. Okay. You want to do <laughs> jello shots this weekend? We can make a whole thing about it. Yeah, let's do it. Yo, we're about to turn the fuck up this weekend, though. I've never seen this. I think you might enjoy them, Milo. They're it's, fun. I mean, it's, I like yeah. the colors already. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. It's just a fun, stupid thing. Mine won't look this nice, though. It'll just be, like, red. <laughs> so, we have no sponsors today, so... Uh, if you want to support the show, if you want to support us, or if you want some cool clothing, head on over to teddyfresh.com. <coughs> Showcasing today the floral jacquard Terry camp shirt, which AB is modeling for us today. Go ahead. Damn, son. Mm. Okay. Mm. I love the tag. How's it feel? Oh, the tag? Show Let me see. Red, yeah. classic, Teddy Fresh. How does it feel, AB? It feels great. I love, it reminds me of that shirt you guys released last summer, the Terry one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sure, yeah I love this material. Thanks, bro. And it, like, Thank never you. wrinkles. Yeah, That's true. Right, it does not. Yeah, it's a really fun shirt. It's, it's awesome. So, there you go. That's, that's just, you know, give you an idea. But head over to the website, see if there's something you like. There's all kinds of stuff there. Thank you, AB. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, oh, there's a new BTS for members. So, shout out to and thank you to all of our members. Oh, it'll shout be up out? after the show. After the show. We'll post it right after we yeah. go off live. By the way, I had uh, polled the audience with the, uh, the how do you wash your ass debate. And, oh. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that was happening. Yeah, okay. diversity of uh, answers here. Um, but just doing it with your hand is the clear winner with 62% of the vote. Uh, Lufa at 23%, and sorry, Zach, but the washcloth is down in third place at 15%. So, I'm not saying I do that. No, I know you aren't, but you, you had said that you heard you're supposed to do that, but... I heard you're supposed to do yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I use my hand, and I think the washcloth, just on face value, no hate Zach, seems to be the most disgusting, because it's just gonna pick up any shit particles. Well, I think the washcloth, uh, washcloth in general is kind of a disgusting concept to begin with. Well, it's like an that's old school my, loofah. That's my problem. Like, it's like, what do you do with it when it's dirty? Right. It's a one-time use, otherwise it like, gets, like, <laughs> disgusting. Do you throw it in the trash? You gotta wash it. You just wash it. Yeah, yeah. that's when I'm out. Wash but then you got this damp, disgusting towel. It's tough. Yeah. The loofah is clearly the innovation past the... I uh, used to use loofah, but I think I got over it because... It's um, harsh. You kind of made me feel disgusted from by the loofah why because it, it was touching my body no no because like <laughs> you made me She's more like, aware I shared it with you and now it's fucking not because of that like i think you were like it gets, it, a it gets gross, gross. and there... then i was like oh my god it, it's gross you know what now we started to notice when we used the loofah is that there started to get lit i think what it was was just a lint and stuff because there's it lint all be. over your body but there's just little specks of shit that get stuck inside the maze of the loofah. Yeah, it's mm. skin. The whole point of the skin, loofah is to whatever, exploit yeah. Whatever it is in there. Yeah. Human Bad vibes. Colors. Once you printed it out, yeah. I was like, I'm out. Bad vibes. <laughs> so do you wash the loofah or do you like just use it a few times and then get a new one? Personally, throw it out. Throw it out. Hmm. You don't wash the loofah. You get rid but of it. But you use thing. it for a long time, right? Like, Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'd say. A few yeah. months? Yeah. So I, I like the I'm back on the bar soap. I like the bar soap. Yeah. You know. What's one thing that us guys do that women don't know? I feel like that that's oh here's one tuck the dick under the belt. I may have told you about that, you but did you know? Man, yeah. Oh, did, yeah. I didn't okay, know about yeah, it before. Yeah. Like Sam, do you know that guys tuck their dick under the belt? I I did know that life hack. Oh. So everyone knows that. Lena, did you know Wait, about I, that? I. I, I don't really know what you're talking about. What? I've never tucked take, my dick in my belt. I never wear a belt. Wait, so what? Dick under your belt. Not like, necessarily belt. Line, belt. If waistline. You're, if you're in a public setting and you get an erection that's like, un, you can't control it. Like I used to. Uh, like, back in like middle school. Uh, yeah. I used to always give it math, but I think it's because they 
I see Steve what we're for saying. Some reason. Okay, so I you, didn't realize. I used this to get was, on the bus every day. Yeah, you know? yeah, yes, that move. Yeah, of course. You put it under your waistline. Yes. Okay, I understand now. To hide it. No, that's essential. That's essential. Yeah, man I, move. I was like, the fuck. I yeah. already know it because I think you told the yeah, story, yeah. but uh, wait. So uh, Sam knew that. Too. Lena, did you know about that? No, I've never heard of that. So there you go. I think most women don't know about that. So what it is is you when you get uncontrollable erections. Usually as a teenager when you can't you have just no control of yeah, your that, body you learn that in middle school for sure Yeah, like I would get them on the bus from the subtle gyre like just the subtlest motion <laughs> you're like, yeah. I'm fully torqued and then the bus arrives and like you're pulling into school you're and you're like, please God Please God you're just <laughs> meditating you're like, please, God, just make my boner go away. It's still fully torqued by the time you pull in. So you got to be slick and tuck it under your belt real fast so you can walk, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Oh, that Color gets cute. my dick hard. Yeah, I miss the component of this, of this being masking the boner because I, I just thought... That was just something you're just casually doing on a regular basis. That like would that's be where disturbing. You just kind of like <laughs> <talk> it. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I was confused. It's called from going six to midnight. So wait, love, you never done that? Uh, I don't know. No, I, I've never talked to the upwards. No. What do you do with that? Uh, well, I, I think it would be more more of a side thing, not straight up. Seems kind of risky. Side? I don't know. Side thing. That's yeah. Yeah. Like well, I mean, the angle can. No, the angle can. It, it can vary depending on. But the side thing, you see it, it's like all out there. Right. Well, the That's other, the whole point is you don't want to be walking around. There's a question in the chat, does that oh, hurt? Yes, yeah. No, it doesn't hurt at all. It's, really just, hurt. it's just up against the body. It's like the natural. Yeah. Another person is saying, sounds so stressful. It is. That's what I'm saying. You guys, it's not that you guys you want to talk about the patriarchy. We'll talk, well, you've never tucked your dick in your belt and had existential dread when pulling it into school. That's true. Thank you. Yeah. Fresh yeah. and fit. I right. love from Seinfeld. <laughs> I'm totally when, on board uh, with this. There's the episode about how it, it shrinks in the cold. Then you have shrinkage. <laughs> and then shrinkage. Elaine comes to the scene, and I don't know what they tell her. And she's like, I don't know how you guys walk around with those They things. go, Elaine, <laughs> you don't know about shrinkage? <laughs> yeah. When you're in the she's pool. She's like, laundry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dick Tips. <laughs> so, so that's a good one. Let's do a poll. How many women only vote for this? Did you know about the dick under the waistline? Yes or no? If you really show results, so dudes don't vote. And then do the third one that says, I'm a dude. You okay. Know? So if you really want to vote, you know, you can say, I'm a dude. Women, 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 women. I love women, 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 women. I'd like to give an update. If you guys remember when Ethan cut my hairs <laughs> on the show, do you need an, a new it's trim? This that you see right here. Oh, and now God. they're just stuck like that. Let me cut it again. Them. No. Give me, someone get me a razor. It became worse, so now I have to wait to see what happens. Are we with Harry's, or what, what, <laughs> what, which one are we on? I'll give you a, I'll give you a Harry's, good. Yeah. Because last time you were supposed to cut, like, <coughs> a single hair. Well, and I thought it was... And now it's a whole bunch. Let me see. It's a gang. It grew fast, though. It yeah. did grow fast, but it's, like, stuck now. <sighs> yeah. So every time you see that, you know... Okay, so 51% said yes, 20%, mm -hmm. 26% said no. Lena didn't know about it, so I mean, that's, that's a substantial amount for something that I feel like we're all yeah, that's forced good, to reckon with. A good amount of life's changed today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it is interesting, though, that the yeses uh, are far higher than the noes, because, I mean, isn't the whole point of that move so that people don't know? If that many people know, I don't know how effective it really is. Well, they only find out about it later in life. I, I, don't, see. I don't think they know that you're walking no, around at the toward. time. Hmm. Interesting. I'm kind of curious about how many dudes do it because I don't know. I, I, mm. I, 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 can, am I the well, one? Well, I'll tell you, love. Really? Here, love. It, maybe you use this move instead because this, this was an alternate approach is when you're in school, you have your backpack and you, you suddenly need to find something in your backpack and you're digging <laughs> sure, through it sure, and you, you sure. put it in front of you to kind of mask the whole region. Right, and, right, you know, right. you're know you just kind of pretending to dig through as a way of... That's, that's another way that that situation could be handled. So, I just don't see how straight up would be comfortable, you know? I mean, I don't see any other way to solve that issue, frankly. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I think, but uh, but like, if you fi obviously you figured out something, you got through middle school, so 
<laughs> right. <laughs> God bless, you know. I see some people saying that they're, they're leg tuckers. They tuck it down instead into the pants. How? Oh, oh, the that Buffalo Bill. Be... If you're torqued, yeah. how does it stay down? Uh, I guess just from the pressure of the pants. I mean, people that are sounds built, painful. But people are built a little differently, it. too. First you know? of all, you see it. Right. I mean, The yeah. thing about the belt tuck is that you cover it with your shirt. Right. It's mm -hmm. concealed. The, the boner naturally goes up. At mm -hmm. least mine does. I don't know. Maybe well, some thing, goes people's, to the ground. People's bodies are different. You know? Yeah, there, there you go. All bodies are positions. beautiful. No direction shaming. No direction <laughs> shaming. <laughs> Your dick goes down, God bless you. Uh, some pe lots of people saying they tuck sideways, love, so you're not alone. I don't know how that technically right. works, though. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess it's just... Sidewards, a little bit upwards. If I don't, I feel like we're getting way too detailed here. Uh, you can, you, yeah, do, you, you don't have maybe, to. Uh, yeah, can, yeah. You, you don't have to. Uh, I'm tapping out. Get into it. Don't damn sure. rascal. Yeah, Explain whatever you, in more detail, love. <laughs> whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. You want to hear what love says when he gets a boner? What the hecking dog? What in the hecking heck dog is dog. that thing? What the gosh darn? What the gosh darn? Gosh darn it, dude. El Yero. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else. The boner thing's pretty good, but um, as far as like, oh, here's one. What you got? That sometimes, I guess this is pretty common, where dudes will jerk off before a date or before having sex. I feel mm -hmm. like I've heard about to it. Try to like last longer. Movies, maybe, or something. But but I, I I don't think I've ever done that. Maybe I have, but apparently that's a common thing. Did you ladies know about that? Maybe that's been in popular media too much. Did not know about that one. Okay, really? there you go, Lena. Okay, so so wow, I'm so there we're breaking ground. Okay. You're spilling the beans here. I'm so know. savvy. I'm giving away the secret. Giving away. <laughs> <the> secret. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. I found a good one. So the theory is, if you bust one out, then you can, you can last longer. That's the theory, right? Yeah. Yeah. And not or be nervous and mess up the date. Is it about calming your nerve? Is it about it? yeah being less like horny or is it about yeah. lasting longer? It, no, it's, it's about both. Well, clearing the mind. Yeah. Well, Clear the mind. It's about drive. It's about power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, Seinfeld. They did it all, but it's mm. like when uh, George, he's like smarter. When, <laughs> right. 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 When he doesn't. When he he's not horny. Sex, yeah. <laughs> Or something like that. Yeah, he stopped having <laughs> sex for a month or something, or what was Actually, it? it's no masturbation and no sex. No, nothing. And then he gets smarter. Because his girlfriend, like, had some type of... There was a reason <laughs> they couldn't have sex, and, like, he becomes a genius and gets every Jeopardy question. Right? People are saying calming the nerves. So, actually, I'm curious now, because two of the ladies here didn't know that. Let's go to the poll. Same thing, Dan. <laughs> I want to find the most obscure <laughs> man fact. Did you Come know... Everywhere. in my room. ...about... <laughs> well, it's well, called. Then. It's called. Um. It's called emptying the chamber. I think. Emptying. The chamber. <laughs> yeah. You don't go out with a loaded gun. That's what they said. Pre-juice. Right. Pre-juice. Yeah. Come. Oh, no. Come. I come, am. Come. Come. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Calm down, man. So you have the emptying the chamber, and uh, then. Do you know about emptying the chamber? Yes. No. I have a penis, so I am sitting this one out. I always think of the scene, and there's something about Mary. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I actually, that's how I learned about the birds and bees, was from that scene. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the birds and the bees. My grandma explained it to me. <laughs> watch this. Go watch this, A.B. <laughs> I watched it, then asked questions. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the other one I can think about... Okay, so this one actually has... More people know about this than... Than the dick tuck, which is interesting, right? Or, yeah. I feel like it's... About even, actually, no. What about this one? Did you know that, like, I can't speak for you guys, but I think all guys is... Are you know that dudes are paranoid about their balls getting twisted? No. Do you guys ever fear that? Right here, dude. Like... Hell yeah. Not me, no. No? Twisted? Yeah, so my... I don't... Maybe it's my mom's fault. She... My mom is... Has been traumatizing my whole life, and she always does it. She goes... <laughs> I'm like 10 years old, and my mom goes, 
yeah, so anyway, I, uh, uh, she would always be like clients of mine because my mom was a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. So she would always come home with these ridiculous stories about my client told me this mm -hmm. and that. <laughs> she goes, my client's son got his, his balls twisted. What? He just woke up and his balls were twisted and he had to go to the hospital and get surgery. And I was like, thanks, mom. I'm thinking about that for the rest of my life, yeah. even now. <laughs> oh, my God. So when how, I'm going to bed. How would that even happen? They're free floating. Yeah, they're just kind of around in there. And, and so. I think, wouldn't you? Like, yeah, they call it here. They have a name. Sit back. Testicular torsion. Yeah, it's a real thing. Testicular tor tor torsion. Huh. Torsion. So, like my whole life, I'm like, oh my god, my balls are just floating there. It could get twisted at any time, <laughs> and it's just absolutely uh, messed with my head. Of. So there I you go. My balls. balls can get twisted. D we learned this in school, and. Uh, they oh. even said that if you let it, like, leave it twisted for too long, they die. <laughs> they literally said that. Oh, well, I think oh they God. start swelling and it's extremely painful, so you'd be kind of insane to not treat that. But, but I guess... What does it, so, like... I, I can't understand, I don't understand what could happen. That is a problem. Look, like, you got you, your sack, <laughs> you got the sack. Yes. There's two balls. Okay. With, like, wires. Oh. Tubes. Okay. You got balls and tubes. Yeah. They get twisted, just like, like you imagine. Like inside the sack? Inside yeah. the sack, oh, they get twisted. That's scary. Like tie it in a knot. It's hor- yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's horrible. Yeah. Well, it's pretty scary. Oh, here's a comment. I knew a kid that got <laughs> testicular go. torsion in his sleep and had to be rushed to the hospital for surgery too. Wow. Permanent fear for the rest of my life. Yeah. Oh, you know, man. I'm not sure that I would go home and tell our, our sons about that. Like, hey, sons, gather around. I want to traumatize <laughs> you for life. I, I mean, they, it might be good information to know, so you know, like, if it happens, you know, well, like, what's going on. And If you're in excruciating pain, tell me. Yeah, I guess you'll, you'll know. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But I kind of feel like it's, uh, a lot of kids would probably not say it, because it's kind of awkward. It's just like embarrassing. Tell your parents that you, your right. nuts are hurting. Yeah, I feel like yeah. maybe it is good to just, so I, you know, I think it's good lay it all out there. Holy shit. I, I would have preferred not know about it. <laughs> Personally, uh, maybe the way to say it is just no. It's very rare, but if your balls start hurting, tell me. Yeah, it's like not that prevalent. You don't need to do a ball stalk <laughs> with your kids. So I kind of I have a story about there. There was one time I hit my brother in the ball so hard, mm -hmm. oh. and he he was younger. He must have been like five or six, and. I, I hit him so hard, he was in such pain, but I was so fearful of telling my parents that I just hit my brother. And he was walking around with horrible fucking pain, crying, and my mom's like, what's wrong? And I kept telling him, like, don't say anything, don't say anything. And eventually he bust, you know, he, he gave up, and he said, Zach hit me in the ball super hard, so we had to rush him to the ER. And oh. he had an ultrasound on his fucking balls. <laughs> Thankfully, he's okay. His balls were fine. Yeah. So why'd you hit, why'd you hit him in the balls? As I was being a, you know, dicky big brother. You punch him or you kick him? What it, was was it? A, it was a kick. Yeah. You kicked him in the balls? Yeah. Oh. Holy shit, dude. I, yeah. You never fought with your brother growing up, Ethan? I did, yeah. but... My, my, big, my brother was a good guy. He never, he never fucked with me in that way. He never okay. kicked me in the balls or anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, anyway, moving on. Um, let's talk about Ian... Did you? I don't know if you saw, but Ian had this human, superhuman uh, oh, yeah. feat of eating the Somstrosen. I did watch that. Um, actually, let's let's. Can you time, get me that timestamp? I, I want to relive it, but what it happened? It was very impressive. I don't know how he did. I that. don't know how he does that, man. <laughs> There's clap so, those cheeks. There's some someone, theories about what? that. What are you saying, what? Dan? There's been some accusations. Yes. Don't theories. start. You know, about yeah, that. so <laughs> someone has brought up an interesting theory for us. That the COVID has stunted his taste, and that's uh, the reason why he's able to do it. Do you have answers to that charge? The Rona. I think it's absurd. There's no evidence here. I've recovered my taste. Well, it's, there is. I mean, you say there's no evidence. Well, let me ask this. Let me ask this. Yes. The first time you ate the fish, was that before or after you got COVID? It was after. Oh, okay. Well, then, then we have a problem. Yeah, it was last fall. So there is a pattern of behavior. What are you afraid of, Ian? Here's, here's the clip, for those who didn't see it. Truly a remarkable feat. I mean, mm -hmm. 
I, again, I, I've been saying, and I truly believe, I don't think there's many people in the world that can do what Ian did. But don't people eat this? Not like this. They don't eat it like How this. How do they eat it? They cook it. They put it with I, food. I've uh, I've been told. Uh, I asked my mom exactly how you eat it. Yeah. Apparently, you put it in thin bread with creme fraiche, onions, and you cut tiny, tiny pieces. Apparently, yeah, you... and you wash it, wash it before. Ugh. So, right. So uh, you don't so need yeah, it like you don't that. Need okay. it like you yeah. need it <laughs> It's. I'm just. I tasted <laughs> it. I smelled it. I, I thought you were gonna puke on the table there. I, I puke. Maybe. Right. Yeah. Hey, Ian, how did you feel the, uh, that whole day afterwards? Fine? Not good. Oh, really? I, I actually did puke at home. Oh. Oh, and th that's when it got me. When you start pulling Ugh. the shit out of your mouth, Ian, yeah. I, I get so, I'm like about to. <laughs> yeah. I. Oh, what is this, Dan? Uh oh. This is you eating a raw onion and saying, no problem, doesn't taste like Give anything. Give us some audio. Yeah. yeah. Dan. I literally oh, had. Right as I got Somebody. COVID. Body. This, he had just COVID, saying, you said, yeah, I'm just saying, he, there's no evidence of this. Here's the just evidence. Saying. Just to give it a fair shake. Mm. Bro, I don't really taste anything. That's, you... oh, that, that was incredible, Okay, what's the, right. what's the date on this clip? It is December 6, 2020. So, yeah, it was a minute ago. Yeah, Almost two years ago. did you hear ago. about long COVID? Right. Right? I, I guess my case. But do people lose their taste for... For long COVID, is that a long COVID sy symptom where you lose your taste permanently? I don't think so. I don't think anybody knows anything yet, and I think Ian needs to be studied. I do think Ian needs to be studied, but not, but not because of his I'm gonna, lack of taste. I'm going to defend Ian here. Thank you. Uh, putting the taste you know, aside, the mere fact of the cons consistency and just the mere fact of having that in your body. It's no, it's incredible. Nothing can take. We're we're having a little fun. Yeah, we're doing I'm, a little I'm trolling. Joking. But nothing can take away this 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 feat. And Sam, some would say that Sam suffered the most. Sam, what <laughs> right. was your yeah. what was your reaction to <laughs> spending the day with him? He stunk so bad. <laughs> Once again, like every he was burping all day. And every burp was like opening a fresh can. Yeah. It was like over and over and over again. And the smell like lingered. Here, just have... like opening the can. Like it was insane. And then he threw up at home. Did the puke stink, Ian? Yes, it, our whole oh house. Oh my God, no, no so way. We had to open like every window. <laughs> Did move, the, like, so what was fans. it like puking that out, Ian? Well, I, I, I forced myself to puke because uh. I kept... The burping. It's so nasty. The I kept going like, and I was tasting. Oh, I was reliving yeah, no. it oh, over God. and over and over. And I'm like, oh no, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm gonna try and make this stop. And I was just, I made myself throw up. And it was like I did it all over again. Oh it was horrible. God. That is horrific. Yeah, not to be too nasty. About that is this. awful. I'm, I, I'm very interested. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody donated ten dollars. Maggie said, "I got COVID in January 2020, and nothing tastes or smells right still." Does mm. Dan oh. always have to be like this? Dan is the hater. The he is being skeptical. Oh, yeah, I mean, there is a reason we have a song. Dan he, the hater. He's just being the opposition. Just trying to Dan keep it. Interesting. Thank you. Well, he, he, listen, he does. He does uh, bring up an interesting point. Why are you like this, Dan? My friend <laughs> lost his taste for eight months from COVID. But it's been two years Ian's had yeah, it. Two He's years? Well, this, this other Maggie oh my God. says they had COVID in January 2020. That's almost a year before Ian. And they and nothing tastes or smells right still. What do you but they, they say nothing smells right or tastes right, but they're still tasting. Well, Ian, still taste. right, Sam, you know him better than anyone. What's your take on this controversy? Right. No, he can he can taste and smell pretty normally again, okay. I think. Okay. Ian, do you it, think it you would have... It a while, but yeah. Do you think you would have been able to do this before COVID? I mean, I don't know. As a kid, like when I, I would watch Fear Factor a lot, I always was like, I could do that. Yeah, so I believe I don't, you. Know. I don't know. I think if he can do, I, I think Ian is a superhuman. I think you got a talent, kid. Yeah. And actually, I want to explore that talent more. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the video of you guys driving home. What? I just burped. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam looks like she's gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> I, can't stop I think she might actually be crying. <laughs> My eyes were burning. Yeah. Stop! 
<laughs> you gotta put that window down quick. <laughs> Holy I just burped. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, was the $100 you got worth it, Sam, or no? Honestly, next time, next time I'm doing 250 at least. Yeah, 250 <laughs> wasn't enough. Well, talk to Ian because, first of all, I put up $500 for Ian. Then there was like three people that donated 100 right? Something like that. And then... Um, Jablonski, yep. friend of the show, Legend. he's a famous uh, music uh, composer for movies, good guy, great guy, he texted me, and he's like, what I just witnessed was a superhuman feat, <laughs> and he's like, what's, what's uh, Ian's Venmo, I want to match you. Yep, it's really cool. Of so him. thanks to Jablonski and everyone who else who added, <laughs> Ian cleaned up 1500 bucks. <laughs> Yeah. For eating yeah. that fish. Oh my god. So, Thank you. Thank not you, bad, everyone. Huh? Thank you, Jablonski and whoever donated. That's that, better I was, than Fear Factor. I was not expecting that. That was so cool of everybody. I appreciate it. Yeah, Jablonski always comes in with the legendary moves. He's yeah. he's the best. It'll he's cover the nice, cost too. He's such a sweet guy. Him and and his family and his wife. They're, they're he always amazing. just you know we won't hear about it's him. Steve Jablonski, love. Yes. Yeah, we won't. And then we'll get like a card from them. Like no, Merry I, I chat with them. So nice. No, I mean in a nice way. Like they they're always on it with just. This being is Jablonski. Nice. But no, we 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 text back and forth a bit here and there. He's a legend. Uh, Jablonski, IMDb. Let's check his uh. Let's check his stats. But anyway, so Ian cleaned the F up, eh? Amazing. <laughs> so Shout out. would anyone else do that for fifteen hundred bucks or was that is that still Absolutely not. No. <laughs> you wouldn't do it for fifteen hundred? No. Would you, Dan? I mean I I mean no, because I don't I don't eat fish, but if I did, I would fifteen hundred dollars. He did puke, yeah. It's a good he, amount of money. He did all the music for uh, the Transformers, and I think he's getting bigger and bigger. He's just doing a lot of big projects. There's a lot of TV. What uh, was that with Housewives well. there? Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives. Yep. Oh. Eight years, eight seasons. But he's 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 starting to he's starting to move up too. I think starting to do big projects. But anyway, shout out. Desperate Housewives was like. One of the biggest shows on TV when, yeah, it, right? when it was it on. Yeah, right? It was huge. Yeah, it was a huge Wait, show. what was that show about? I don't, I don't know that I ever watched it, but I know, like, always hearing that name. It was, a uh, like, a primetime drama that yeah. was on ABC, oh. ABC oh. back in the day. It was huge. Mm. Maybe even dramedy. I don't know. I don't see much of it. So, but. shout out, Ian. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was amazing, Appreciate man. It. Appreciate it. That was incredible what you did there that day. <laughs> um, also, I don't know, wearing that hat and the long hair, you kind of looked like a survivalist. Oh, true. <laughs> That's a very nice way to put you it. Gotta, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. In a good do, way, man. though. <laughs> not, you got to get those calories way. somehow. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, you know, later that night, I was home. And I just licked it. And I mean, I was sitting right in front of the can. I was in close proximity. But I was, I was just smelling it on my clothes and stuff. And I had to like just, I had to throw, I just had to take everything off and shower. <laughs> so I just kept getting whiffs of it. And I was just unbelievable. When we uh, went downstairs after we did that segment, there were Teddy Fresh people <laughs> leaving the building. And I was like, can you smell? From downstairs? downstairs? And they were like, we're going to have to, Air it out in Holy there. Holy crap. What? Yeah. <laughs> Chantal wanted to like bug bomb the place. Oh like, downstairs? God. Yeah, it was very prominent wow. downstairs. I walked outside. That's and came one back can. In. Do you guys understand? That's oh, just wild. one can of fish. Mm. Boy. Love says his room still smells. <laughs> oh, is that true, Love? Yeah, dude. I fucking regret it so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, <ser> <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fucked. <laughs> What's funny though? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is this? Some this Johnny is... Depp memes? Let's see. Some Johnny Depp. This guy is wearing makeup in every one of those video clips, correct? All right. 
it up. I want to try to move along. So. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> so this is a, a, a like a pre-recorded deposition with uh, somebody. He was what the bodyguard, security guard, uh, security guard at his or penthouse, or whatever. Yeah. And he chose to do it from <laughs> his car while vaping and drag. Well, you'll see. Look, he's a working class man. He ain't got time no, for all no, this shit. No, no, it's hilarious. Yeah. I love that he did this. The it's fucking awesome. Incident was May twenty first, two thousand sixteen. You saw her the night of May twenty fifth, correct? Correct. You said uh, you saw Amber Heard hundreds of sure. times while she was there. Heard treat you well oh, he's in his cab or something? Yes, yes. I, I'm not gonna say that because she was really always nice. It's not even he's like gotta hard. work, bro. <laughs> he's like, lucky for you guys, you can take all this time off to go to court. I, I got fucking pills to pay. It's true. All right, this is my last question. You testified in response to Mr. Presidio's questions. Um, that you testified this is so truthfully in all of these occasions. Not wearing a seatbelt too, by the way. Oh, truthfully to everything that you testified in the court <laughs> to my questions today. That's correct. Uh, right. I, I did. So that that was oh John Johnny's bodyguard or doorman or something. Don't you feel like they should have they said live. like, "Would you mind please parking yeah. <laughs> while we talk to you"? <laughs> I was hoping he'd go through a drive-thru at some point. <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. <laughs> all was like... <laughs> all right, it's a good time to break for lunch. Uh, we'll just break a little early, so just don't talk to anybody. Don't do any outside research, and we'll see you at 2 o'clock, okay? That was, that was pretty you. much it. As far as That's me. It's going to be me and Ryan Kavanaugh if we <laughs> get a jury. you got to see what the judge says. <laughs> oh. oh Listen I, I, to what the judge says. Okay. Oh, that was what... I saw this reaction. I didn't know it was that. She's like, what is this? <laughs> She's flabbergasted. This is weird. She keeps making faces, I remember. That was a first, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will say, bro, that is the most bizarre episode. Okay, all right, I've never seen, seen that before. I've seen a lot of things, but I've just never seen that <laughs> Well, hey, like I said, you deposed me on my time. Just saying. Just saying. What is this? What happened? It was a super chat that says Andy Dick talking mad smack about you on his live. Andy what Dick? The fuck? About me? Wait. I don't know. Oh, join the club. Wait, is Andy Dick a right winger or something? Who's no. Name? Andy Dick is an Andy Dick, dude. He's, yeah, he's a one. What could he's, Andy Dick possibly have beef with me? He's in a league of his know. own, dude. Andy, if you're watching, do you remember when you came to my house in like 2007 and stayed up until four in the morning doing coke and like harassing all my friends? Because <laughs> that's a thing that happened. Wait, what? Yeah. We've told uh, this story. Say what? I feel like everyone here has an Andy Dick story. Oh, I have, right. I have <laughs> many too. I'm with Dan. We have so many Andy Dick stories. Wait, pull that clip. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. hold it's that. It's probably on his Instagram because that's where you uh, I've been looking. I'm checking Instagram right what now. What was he doing at your house? Because of your parents or something? Good question. He no, just no, rolled no. up. No, <laughs> he came into the restaurant that I worked at at the time oh. and a good friend of mine who was another waitress, she served him and he took a liking to her and they kind of like started texting oh and then it was like the next day or something she texted me she's like i'm coming over uh and i'm bringing somebody wait and i was like okay you guys were how old i was like 20 21 and he oh he's probably in his 50s he's old he's oh. a weirdo i don't know if you guys know he okay. ended up getting arrested for uh sexually assaulting somebody like a week later oh he did yep oh man he is so de he is deranged he's like you can't like bring him around he's okay, actually it, yeah. it, it's sad because he really is funny and talented and he's just yeah he's well so is bill actor. cosby just saying i was at a comedy I was, oh. I was at a comedy show last <laughs> night and um andy dick being a creep a prolific creep was a big part of the show actually oh yeah. and andy almost, almost yep. verbatim okay. what dan just said that everyone has a andy dick anybody who grew up in story. la there's like a very good chance that andy dick crashed a party well or i love that for you just like all he does great I'm, just get, join the club of get, uh, <laughs> join in join the party everybody I, hating i was sitting in malibu one night and he was i saw him he was drunk as a skunk and he came up and this was peak covid 
and he came up and kissed me on the forehead. That, what, how is he getting around this much that he's at? He's interacted with two people on the crew <laughs> yeah, in he, inappropriate uh, ways. Inappropriately. Yeah. Yeah. He um he he essayed uh, one of my friends that night actually. What? Oh, hold up. Yeah. He grabbed grabbed his dick. Straight up, just like unprompted, just went for okay. it. So what did you say about me, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> apparently you shouldn't be saying shit about anybody. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't. You should just sew your mouth shut and move to Antarctica or something. Because I'm not finding this anywhere. I mean, his Instagram story shows him partying with like a bunch of twenty year olds last night. <laughs> Did it just happen? Maybe you can contact the person who wrote it's this. Somebody trip. donated two bucks and said Andy Dick is talking shit about you on his live right now. Oh, that, oh well, I'm sure. That's so, all I'm, I'm going off of right. Now. Okay, well, check Discord. If you guys find it, we'll we'll pull it up during the show. Whoa! And by the way, somebody donated three hundred dollars as a super chat and just said peace and love to the Pod Squad and all the Fupa Troopers. Hell the yeah, Pod, Pod Squad, squad baby. <laughs> baby! I'm telling you, it's Pod gonna happen. Squad. And, and I missed this one too. I apologize. An, another hundred dollar donation from Son of Jaren. I'll be your sponsor today. Shouts out to Zach, uh, my big nasty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to you, my friend. Thank you, Son of Jaren and Ruby for those Thank donations. Thank you, guys. Very generous. Yeah. Do we have sponsors next week or next month? Yeah, or we do. Did we do? Okay, yeah. that's good. I get worried when, like this week, we had like one. No, goal. we have a healthy amount next week. Okay, that's great. That's good news. But thank you guys so much. That's nice. Um, we had some on leftovers, but somebody had to go get COVID. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, I did hear that there was an outbreak at Coachella, so. I mean, of course there was. Yeah. You know. Adds up. <laughs> Yo, somebody said he streams with Ice Poseidon's crew. Yeah, I want to put it them. That tracks. His his <laughs> like yeah, yeah, down that. bad dude. He just, <laughs> him, that is high. oh from starring on a number one rated sitcom to uh, which streaming one? With what Ice did he star on? It's awesome. The uh, Andy Dick show was like a big oh. MTV. Uh, like oh, I mean, well, yeah, that too. I was he, thinking of uh, news radio. Oh uh, well. Uh, Look, he was man. always a B comedian, and the dude hasn't been in shit in decades. It's incredible that the only reason people actually know who he is is because he's like a prolific predator. Apparently, nice. apparently his ex girlfriend speaks out about him. Here's an article about it. Speaks out about his arrest. I don't know. Sounds like a great, solid there's a, guy. There's a video clip of him getting body slammed by an Uber driver. That's pretty good. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> People are saying Hassan said he did not get COVID from Coachella. He got it from somewhere else. Oh, okay. Huh? Well, we'll have to get the scoop when he comes in. Literally lying. <laughs> <laughs> We're lying about Where it. Where else would you I get it? Made an Coachella. We're, we'll have to ask him next what, what, week. What, 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 how can you even make I'm that claim? I'm not passionate about where he got it. I am. <laughs> we might have, con- you know, he might have, maybe somebody that he was with reached out to him and said, I'm infected and that's mm-hmm. why he tested or something. Oh, maybe. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's like he's here. Andy Dick arrested for hitting his boyfriend in the head with a liquor bottle. Nice. Here, let me see if I can find Andy Dick arrest Such record. A nice guy. Andy Dick arrest records. Here, let's, let's pull up the whole. You can probably find the one that I was talking about that happened like a few days after he was at my house. Oh, he got charged for it? Uh, oh, I see. I see what you mean. You're not the one that happened at the house. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey, let's pull up his Wikipedia page. I like that I'm already prepping for war and I don't even know what the fuck he said, but... <laughs> Some people are saying he was in the chat just trying to self-promote. In our chat? Yeah. Andy Dick is in our chat self-promoting? I mean, he knows half of us, so... Uh, well, we're talking there about him is. now. 2008, July. Yeah, Would I you call this promotion, though? Uh, this isn't good promo, no. Yeah. <laughs> I like FaceTimed with him one time. Cause Wait, what? He had, he had an interaction with my dad and he was fucked up and like, what? he like started hitting on my mom. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and he's like, he, my dad bought him a drink and he hit my dad up for money. And ah! FaceTime. Like, <laughs> this, I think I have his number in my phone or something. Call him Are right you? now. <laughs> so what is this you have Andy life? Dick's number? If, if I think I might still have it, yeah. Oh boy. Arrests and legal actions. In 1999, Dick was questioned. Isn't it kind of ironic that his last name is Dick? It is, yeah. No, it's great. It is very ironic. <laughs> Man. <laughs> He's a dick. So, 
if Zach has his number, that's that's kind of nuts. I don't have it in my contacts anymore, but I'm going to reach out to my brother who might still have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Hopefully that clip services because I really want to. Uh, I really want to see that. Um. So basically, there's a new theory going around. Basically. By the way, this guy's really good. He um he's on TikTok, and I I love his content. He goes to like Trump rallies. And plays it real straight and asks them questions. And these people are just goblins. I feel bad in a way because these are good. These, these seem like nice people, and they're. It's just sad that they get caught up in this cult. But is he like not to start drama? But is he biting Andrew a little bit? Oh, this guy's been around for a while. No, no. It's a diff. The whole vibe is totally different. Trump plus JFK Jr. is what his shirt says. That man is red Hell boy. Yeah. Hell Biden yeah. is not alive right now. No, the guy that's doing the stand-up job of trying to wake people up is an actor wearing a mask. I mean, there's several different people playing Joe Biden at this point. And the, when, <sighs> when he fell up the stairs going on the airplane, I myself think that that was Jim Carrey. I've heard that he was one of them. I <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. You think that Jim Carrey was wearing a mask and was and the acting president? Silly and being silly by falling up the stairs three different times. And James Woods doing also, shtick. I think, is one of the doppelganger mask-wearing people. You think Biden? Wow. Actually, I saw that Jim Carrey responded to that. That yes. was Jim oh, Carrey. Oh, dear. <laughs> so this is the guy, J Jason uh, Selvig. Mm. The Good Liars, that's how I want to promote them. The Good Liars on TikTok is where I consume their content. They're really good. Actually, here, I'll What's the most you important issue in the governor's race here in Virginia? Getting back to the basics of teaching children, not teaching them critical race theory. And, uh, and, and what is critical race theory? Well, I'm not going to get into the specifics of it because I don't understand it that much. But it's something that I don't. Oh boy. The, what little bit that I know, I don't care for. And and what have you heard that you, that you don't? Well, that you I'm, don't not, like? I'm, I'm not going to. You know, I don't. Uh, I was in foot him. Uh, That's so interesting. I don't. I don't have yeah. that much knowledge on it. But okay. it's something. But that I know what. But I know I, like I hate it. I know I hate it. I know what I hate, and I know what I like. <laughs> and I hate that critical race theory. Yeah, so he does a lot of stuff like this. It's really good. Um, kind of depressing. <sighs> kind of sad. But... I sent his TikTok, if that's easier. Oh, yeah. Let me... Yeah, actually, let's look at some. I really like his content. I'm giving him a little promo here. He's doing good work. He's doing God's work. The Good Liars on TikTok. It sounds like you were just turned away from the... Here, I'll, look, I'll just look you at the... You think real... Biden is not alive right now? No, the, the guy Just that's... saw that. My name is Ralph Rebant, and I'm running for the governor of Michigan. I'm a pastor, but I'm running, I'm bringing God back into culture because I'm convinced that if we don't get God right in this next election, nothing will matter. Bringing God back to Michigan, <laughs> um, what would that look like? Would there be religion taught in schools? Uh, there would be, uh, as our founder said, the Bible should be the basic textbook in scripture, I mean in schools. Are there books that you don't want to see in schools? Uh, I would remove the pornography. So we need to ban, we need to ban books that, that have porn, pornographic imagery in them, right? Yes, yes. Because, because we, somebody was telling us about a book that had like two daughters getting their dad drunk and having sex with them. Yeah, I knew you were going that way. I knew you were doing that. Yeah, that's a good point. So you're saying ban the Bible in school. Uh, no, I'm not saying ban the Bible in school. I, I get where you're going with your questions. It's, it's a, you, you're saying anything that has a pornographic image should be banned, and the, there are some images in the Bible about you know, sex and incest and things like that. So it sounds like you're saying we should ban the Bible. Uh, what I am saying is that the Judeo-Christian principles under which our country is founded need to be brought back into culture. And I, that, I can't state it any more clearly than that. Um, if when, that means banning the Bible, so be it. <laughs> the Bible would not be banned from culture or... From the schools. I'm just saying the schools. Protect the kids. <laughs> no, I... My name is Ralph Listen. Lund, I'm running for the governor of Michigan. Yeah, because the, these pastor. people are going on like a mad tear banning yeah. books. You know, don't say gay. 
it's having it's like a deep culture war issue now and it's like any book that depicts any thing uh educational about sex or uh sexuality of any kind it's like ban fuck ban well it's like yeah it's a great point you know Hey, I'm here outside of Planned Parenthood on a Saturday morning where a bunch of anti-abortion protesters have signs and are trying to stop people from getting abortions. I'm going to go join them. <laughs> okay. What's that? <laughs> no, 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 no. The traffic, the people are the protest. <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys do whatever you want. <laughs> Are you guys headed out? Yes. It's unfortunate that this one sign can ruin a protest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, well, now it's just me. <laughs> That's true. That is That's kind so of good. impressive. Yeah, these guys are great. I'm telling you, they're they're hard working too. Yeah. Who would you rather have Look at president? This shit's on uh, Joe Biden or Vladimir Putin? Oh, Putin. Definitely. And and why and why is that? Um, I believe he's been given a tough. Uh, since, since World War II, uh, Russia's been the bad guy, when in actuality the Nazis left Germany and they ended up going to the Ukraine, coming in here. George Bush was, was actually, thank you, George Bush was actually a Nazi. Who would you rather? <laughs> well, that's, that that based, might be true, actually. Based. Yeah, that based. Was... That's a base take, actually. <laughs> but, like, I mean, this is the, this is the conserv there's like a fringe conservative <laughs> movement that is pro-Putin. And I think I just find it really funny when you have Elon Musk tweeting out these memes about the left moving, and it's like here you have someone literally saying, "I wish Putin was the president, and not Biden." Vladimir Putin. That's true. But there you go. The good liars went on a tangent there. Um, I found the number if you want to. Okay, how should we do this? Because uh, technically, we can't air. I don't think it's kosher to air. No, let's. Are we talking seriously? To, no, don't. Well, you can watch. Se whoa, step away and call him. I could try to get him to call into the show. Just be like, yo. I sent it to AB because. Just AB step away, so so we can't hear. You can step over there and say, hey Andy, I'm on the issue podcast with Ethan Klein. Would you like to call in? We heard you were talking shit. Zach, do you want to call him? Isn't he a friend of yours? <laughs> He's a friend of mine. Like, Come on, I'm... just give it a ring. What's the worst? It's probably, I bet you it's not his number. There's no shot that but number. Everybody was saying that his number is public. So. Yeah, they're saying his number is public. Wait, his yeah. number is public? Yeah. He just on posted Twitter. it on Twitter yeah. or something, apparently. Uh -huh. He probably gets a bajillion calls from people harassing him. Yeah. Is it not one of those weird marketing things? It might be. I don't know. I the number I be. have for him is different than the one he posted. Do it, do oh. it, do it, do it. Just go over there so we can't hear if he answers. So we're not breaking the law. Just call him. I can't get up. Okay, I I'll call him. Oh, I'll my call. God. I'll call him. I can do it. I mean, I would do it if I wasn't live. I'll call him. I'll call him. Do you want me to do it? Maybe just t turn his mic off, Dan. Okay, so if he's going to call the number. So let's see what happens. Not here, right? You got to walk I don't away. Think Okay. Yeah, okay, so AB, so... <laughs> Thank you, AB. Okay, so AB, it's ringing. Okay, so the number's ringing. Um... Let's see, is it ringing, AB? No. It's not even ringing? It went straight to voicemail, and he said, leave your number. Mm. He said? Yeah, it's, uh, his voicemail said, leave your number. Oh, so, but you don't even know if it's his number. I mean, it's his voice. Oh, it's oh, his, voice. his voice. Yeah, it's his voice, yeah. Oh, so he, okay, so it's actually his it would number. It be a fake number, though, like the marketing stuff. I've had this for I, probably five years. Based on the stories yeah. I've heard. Oh, Zach actually like has his him. number, though. That's crazy. So maybe call back and leave a message. Say, hey, we're live on the issue podcast. Uh, we heard you were talking mad shit, so let's fucking do this. <laughs> do we even know if that's true? It was just this random chatter. Well, whatever. We weren't able to find any evidence uh, of that. We're trying to confirm <laughs> yeah, directly we're just, with we're him. Yeah, yeah. Well, we <laughs> heard, and so let's, I mean, it's interesting. It's mm -hmm. a, you gotta go to the source, right? All right. We're just, we're doing reporting. We're after the truth.
pound it for the truth. Pound it for the truth, baby. So, AB is strutting around. What are you, where are you going in the bathroom or something? He doesn't want us to hear? I do need to go to the bathroom. So, okay, that'll, that'll be interesting. So we got some new alpha male, um... Quickly. Alpha male advice. Alpha official. Love this guy. <laughs> He's giving us advice on how to avoid leaving a P mark after you go to the bathroom. Oh, 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 my, oh my god, I, I, I dribbled. That's awkward. If you're a dude, yeah, this is how. Um, yeah, you were saying it's too deep of a stain, right? Like, that's a lot of urine. I. You left a message? Yes, did. What did you say? I left a message, said we're trying to reach out to him from the H3 podcast. We heard he was talking about us. Please give us a call back. Okay. Very Thank professional. You, mm -hmm. you didn't bring up any of the accusations I, I against him. I said Zach misses team. him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. It'll be interesting. He's going to call you tonight and just like <laughs> somehow end up hanging out with you. Dude, he's going to call you at four in the morning and hit you up for a ride or some shit. I'll tell him to come tomorrow to hit you uh, up for my drugs. Friend, my friend has a show tomorrow. We could go together. Oh, okay. Right. Right. Oh, you, is you talk, Zach, you have your show tomorrow? Yeah. Or you want to, you want to plug it? Uh, yeah. Tomorrow night, live at the Mint, uh, April 30th, 9 p.m., live at the Mint. Uh, ticket links are in my social media bios. And, um, Paid event? Paid event, yeah. Are you getting paid? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I call them out no, now yeah. or after the event, Zach? Call them after. After, okay. You don't want Andy Dick there. No, I, I don't want Andy Dick there. Kind of hype. No, he'll he'll, he'll ruin. There's it. even a Family Guy bit about Andy Dick showing up and like it fucks <laughs> everything up. Well, that's so. exciting. You've got a paid event. Yeah, that's fun. Good for you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. It's you know, it's not like insane. It's just I'm up there to just play Hell music yeah. and uh, yeah, share share the love of music. Absolutely. So, yeah. Who doesn't love music? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Especially played by a savant. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, alpha male. Oh, oh, oh my! Oh my God! I, I, I dribbled. That's awkward. If you're a dude, yeah, this has happened, right? The dribble. What do you do? It always happens at the worst time. What I've come to realize is if I go commando, it's going to happen 100% of the time. Unless, of course, you get... What I don't understand is why is he going commando? Why don't... What's your reason for not wearing underwear? Especially with jeans. That just seems like rough business. Yeah. No, it's not, not advisable. Yeah. I'm not taking a pause. Speaking of something about Mary, that's what I'd be afraid of. Zipping myself up if I wasn't wearing underwear. Right. I'm worried about leaving, about getting pit. I mean, this exact reason. But it seems just ungodly not to wear underwear. Is he trying to show off his package or something so there's like a deeper outline? Like, what's the reason for going commando? What actually is the reason for not wearing underwear, you freak? Do you know what I'm saying? I think the only reason not to wear underwear is to try to show off his package line more. I have no idea. I, I see no benefit. Yeah, so, Ela, this is an alpha male advice on how to avoid getting pee stains on your pants. Okay. So I'll replay it for you from the beginning. Oh, 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 my, oh my god, I, I, I dribbled. That's awkward. If you're a dude, yeah, this has happened, right? The dribble. What do you do? It always happens at the worst time. What I've come to realize is if I go commando, it's going to happen 100% of the time. Unless, of course... You get There's the your answer. Don't go commando, you weirdo. Commando means no underwear? Yeah. It's psychotic. Yeah. Also... Wait, so what is he suggesting? You know, if you don't wear underwear, your pants get all stinky, too, because you're, like, farting and your balls stink. Just from, like, sweat, not, like, from not showering. I'm not talking about crotch rot shit. Like, the <laughs> cord. talking about that crotch rot. I'm just saying it don't smell good in there. And if you don't wear pants, if you don't wear underwear, your pants are going to absorb that smell. You know you get that crotch rot. But no, I don't. That's not crotch what I'm referring rot. to. <laughs> Get done doing your business, and before you put the horse back in the stable, you blot it, right? That's a way for you not to actually have a pee stain if you're going commando. Now, if you're wearing underwear, one, two, three, four, possibly five, then anything more than that, you're playing with it, and then tap it on your underwear before you get finished doing your business. I just didn't, what? I don't understand why you need a video for this. <laughs> he's, saying, he's saying, yeah, if you don't want a pee stain, what you want to do is shake the urine off your penis. 
Did, was he suggesting to wipe it on your underwear? Yeah, basically? that's what he said at that's the end. That's what he's saying. Wait, I thought he wasn't wearing underwear. Well, he said if no, you do, though. he's saying if you do. Wait, let me, let me read yeah. that again. If you're wearing underwear, one, two, three, four, possibly five, then anything more than that, you're playing with it, and then tap it on your underwear before you get finished doing your business. Oh, yeah, he's saying put the pee on your underwear. I mean, I, it's, yeah, I don't know. Top, Just, top response with 20K likes, who goes commando with jeans? It's psychotic, yeah, bro. It is psychotic. Why are you just video put on fun. under? This is alpha shit, dude. <laughs> I can't get enough of these alpha males. <laughs> never be a beta. <laughs> That's it's all I know is never to, be a beta. It's alpha as fuck right. to piss yourself. Beta. Nothing Beta's more alpha than just fucking pissing all over your jeans. Yeah, real alpha just pee his fucking pants like a big boy. <laughs> and just stare at the person you're conversing with right in the eyes. That's dominance, it. bro. Yeah. Straight up. I'd be scared if someone did that. <laughs> <laughs> Dribble dominance. Here's an alpha yeah, pro tip. Pro tip to how to adjust in public. And pocket in, right? Just little, little, little. Yep. Ah, right there. You're I'm sorry, but Wait, this is a... jeans are still wet from the other TikTok? Wait. Wait, no way. <laughs> Wait. The alpha M... Wait, hold on, hold on. This is a... Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> the alpha M pro tip to how to adjust in public. And pocket... Oh, my God! Oh, you're right! <laughs> he still got the dribble! <laughs> My dude, no. you've got the fucking pee stain. Great observation. Is he seriously wearing his jacket like that, or is this a joke? No, this guy's serious. This alpha business is crazy. <laughs> the guy, it's like, this whole conversation is not alpha. You're worried about adjusting your junk and shit. Just grab your shit and move it, bro. Be alpha. <laughs> Pocket oh in, right? Just little, little, Are little. you jerking off? What are you <sighs> doing? Yep, ah, right there. You're good, right? Nobody saw anything. All right, that's the Alpha M pro tip to how to. I worry he's kinda, about He's kind of talking about what we were talking about earlier in the show, to be honest. <laughs> no but we were. Like I don't anything. think he's talking about having an erection. He's talking about adjusting your shit. What? I feel like he's talking about it in a serious way. So that means he's assuming his audience is like 15 years old. Oh no no no! Please God, there's another one from him. Oh, this one we just watched. Oh my God! So did you make like 30 TikToks in one Stop day? Stop my breath. Now we gotta talk about boobs. Because they literally are like- We gotta <laughs> talk about boobs, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right, Ela. You just cracked it. old audience. Yo, I my alpha it. males, we gotta talk about boobs today. Kind of gross in me out, this guy. Dude. What the f- now we gotta talk about boobs, because they literally are like a magnet drawing our male eyes towards them. How are you gonna not look like a creepy weirdo always staring at her boobies? What I would recommend, if you have a difficult time making eye contact- Are you serious? See some titties? You need a tips and tricks to not look at titties? <laughs> I mean, that may be helpful to some people, I titties. suppose. I mean, I, out of all of these alpha guys, I find this, like, this guy I find less He's objectionable harmless. than most. Oh, I most. doubt it. No? You don't think so? I get creepy vibes. Oh, interesting. Okay. But, like, he's... I have a creepy radar. All right. You think no, so? No, that's fair. The that's radar fair. is tingling. But what about, like, compared to guys who are, like, fresh and fit, who are like, we need to make sure that women can't leave their house without right, their Right, exactly. Or, like, they shouldn't... Be, you I you just, need your passwords to I their social media. I don't want to say anything I don't know about him, but I'm just saying I'm getting you get creepy the vibes. vibes. Okay. You get bad fair vibes. Enough. Fair enough. Yeah. It's the making content for kids. Yes, and like maybe they hit him up in the DMs. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa. Eli has a good dar. A good, dar. <laughs> good dar? Eli has a, almost an infallible creep dar. Hmm. All right, I'll defer to your judgment. I wasn't saying that I like him, by the way. I was just saying... Like, <laughs> Dan, you're going to hit him up in the DMs? Like compared no, I, to uh, I, yeah, Fresh you're and right. Fit and like those kind of guys. It seems more lighthearted versus the... We need to, we need to outba we need to make sure that women have no uh, control over their bodies. Right. Like fresh and fit. We are like trying to turn, trying to make like Sharia law here or something. Contact with the spicy senorita. Look at her forehead. Right here, gentlemen, right above her eye. And this is a lot more comfortable. I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Just look at her eyes. Why do you got to look at her forehead to avoid staring at her tits? And then you're weird. Like, can you tell I'm looking at your forehead right now? I, I, yeah, it feels like you're looking at my hair or something. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, just stare at their forehead instead of their boobs. What the fuck advice is that? ...for a lot of guys when it comes to making eye contact. If you're somebody that really has a difficult time making eye contact because you are a little bit shy or it's just uncomfortable for you, the simple Why is act he of shouting looking at above us? their eyes is as effective because you can't tell the difference. Now we got to talk about... How is that advice? 
stare at their forehead so you don't look at their boobs? Just look at their eyes. What the fuck, Titties. dude? What? It's crazy. Boobs, you want more, Ayla? Right? No, I don't. Wait, this one has a lot of views. God, I love stinky balls. Which brings us to the next biggest grooming <laughs> mistake. You guys are still not powdering your junk after you get out of the shower. Great and sound and boom. Wait, this guy's... It's, a, it's like his whole channel is talking about your junk. He's talk. He, I think his audience is young men. Yes. Like not like eighteen plus. No. Because who's gonna be like? Under I, how do I not look at boobs? Under it. I Wait. feel like he's making more of this content for TikTok, because his YouTube videos, at least the ones I've seen, don't seem to be this, uh, this crazy. Right. Yeah, he's probably baiting a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, this guy is about to tell all guys they need to powder their balls every day. So, <laughs> so buckle up. <laughs> I love stinky balls. Which brings us to the next biggest grooming mistake. You guys are still not powdering your junk after you get out of the shower. You towel dry, and then boom, a little bit of that down there, up the booty crack, because swamp ass, every single one of you, even you, Brian, right, should be powdering Big Al and the boys prior to leaving the house. It's gonna keep you drier. It's gonna keep you smelling amazing. And so, when that spicy senorita's like, yo, daddy, I wanna go say hey to Al, right? You're like, yo, get it, girl, because I know I smell amazing. God, I no, 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 no. I gotta oh say. God. This is bad advice. You do not want your junk smelling like baby powder. That's disgusting. That's pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. You know I don't know. What? Going out and buying powder after that. Like, oh shit, that's probably a good idea. And they buy powder. So, so here's the they... thing. When I started getting fat, my thighs started rubbing together. So I heard that if you use baby powder, it can help with the chafing. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it sweat and baby powder, it turns to like flour. You're basically, mm -hmm. you're kneading dough down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not good smelling, man. Holy shit. So there Boston. you have it. Alpha male. Sig uh, this is alpha energy. Mm -hmm. Trying to look for his viral ones. I Plus want you one. to lose five pounds in the next 30 days. What you're going to notice is something interesting. By simply losing five pounds, a lot of the times we hold a lot of weight in our face, and that is the place in the area that you notice it first. Your cheeks will become more defined, your cheekbones more pronounced, and your jaw stronger. If you're somebody that is carrying a little bit more body fat, guys, I would shoot for like eight pounds. I want you to lose five pounds there you go, in guys. the next 30 days. Let's get that gaunt Challenge. look. Let's get that gaunt look, boys. What's your one of the I want you to lose. Is it a little goofy to just give that blanket advice not knowing about anyone's health conditions? Because if you're super skinny, that could be dangerous. <laughs> yeah. But apparently he's got six million subbies. Six oh and my a half God, on YouTube. No. Yeah. And he was on Shark Tank. Yeah. No, wait. What was his product? It was, from what I see, a $300 wardrobe DVD that teaches you basically how oh, to dress. Oh, bro, you trying to sell a DVD? <laughs> He's trying to sell a DVD. What year? Yeah, what year is this? <laughs> uh, it is season four of Shark Tank. I don't want to get. I mean, that four, that's old. I don't want to yeah. get nabs here it's, for, for it's, this it's shit. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Shark Tank Alpha M. He still went by Alpha M. Hmm. We do? We're mocked and ridiculed. Okay. Yeah, well, nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Tell me they did not give him a deal. So the video cuts before then, but the comments are saying that all the sharks turned him down. Thank you. Ain't nobody invested <laughs> in a DVD, dude. $300 DVD of how to dress. Just watch it. Whoa! Like... <laughs> um... What is this? A footage of Idub's boxing? Oh, you you really want to talk about this? Okay. I Ian. love this. This is my favorite video ever. Rip through to the body, then back upstairs. Yes. Now back upstairs. All fucking day there. All fucking day. Yes. I love you. Let's go, baby. Let's go, body, body. Rip his body. Rip his body. Rip his body. Then back upstairs. Fuck yes. Let's go. Rip the body. Rip the body. <laughs> What, what, what did you want to say about it, A.B.? Uh, it speaks for itself. It's just legendary. I love how at one point when he's screaming, fuck him up, fuck him up, he goes, I love you. He did say that? Yeah. Uh, you didn't catch that? I love you. <laughs> 
that's kind of the opposite approach you're co coaching. Yeah, right? definitely different, but Michael's the man. And I also wanted to say that, uh, so people aren't surprised, because a lot of people, they loved Wally on the last episode. Unfortunately, he's unable to attend the actual fight because of uh, something to do with his travel visa, but uh, oh. Michael, the guy screaming. Oh, that was the wrong button. I'm he's going to be your boy? He's going to be in my corner. Yeah, I love you. Upstairs. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what about Vin Diesel? Upstairs. Yes. Ian does look powerful, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah he His good. arms look big. Get back upstairs. Yeah. All fucking day there. All fucking day. Go, yes. Go. I love you. Let's go. I love you. I love Interesting you. technique. I love you. Yo, I want to fuck you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you look good right now. I want to fuck you all day, dog. Go, baby. Let's go body, body. Rip his body. What? Rip his body. Rip his body. Then back up. He just there. let somebody oh, in. Yeah. Like... Oh, did he? Is that what's going on? Yeah. Rip his he did. Yo, how do you walk into it? Just walk into that. <laughs> oh, my God. That guy's multitasking. Yeah. I like yeah. that. He's a man. Apparently this was like the last round, round six, so that's pretty impressive, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's round six? Round six, last 30 Who is he seconds. fighting okay, well. there? I think just, just someone sparring at the gym, with yeah. someone at the gym. Okay. I'm guessing a pro because he's not wearing any headgear or a Yeah, he didn't seem guard, too yeah. concerned. <laughs> There was, they posted one of uh, Ian getting clocked. There you go, there you go. Do you see this, AB? Oh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> if the video we were just watching, the first, when it first starts, it's like the meanest hook I've ever seen. Ian gets clocked in the face. The well, I'll Michael. go back and watch oh, it right yeah. here. There you go, there you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and posting L's on their own thing, which is, <laughs> that's what he, you know, hey, props, right? I think. Oh. Uh, where's the one I was looking at? He got he got a bopped. It's in the dock. If that's that? that? Yeah, that first one. Let's that was see. mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, gotta get used to it, right? Yeah. Doctor Mike is a big tough guy. So. I love you. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Okay, oh, speaking of TikTok, so this is my, I have a special TikTok account that I've fallen in love with. Yeah. This guy is unbelievable. This is my special find. I've been tracking this guy's page because I just couldn't believe what I'm seeing. So he is a criminal defense attorney. And he gets people off for really fucked up crimes. And then he goes and brags about it on TikTok. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. I, th I think this may have been the first one I saw. And I was like, what? I was like, w w what the fuck? Here, watch this. All right, we're outside of Rancho Cucamonga Courthouse with my amazing client. We're here on a third time DUI case that we totally crush. There's a mandatory minimum of 120 days county jail for this kind of case. They offered us 310 days jail on this case and they weren't budget. But today we got no jail, no, no jail. jail at all. No jail. Case zero. closed, zero. zero jail. Aren't you happy you forgot to bring your toothbrush? Yes, oh my God, I'm what is really this? really glad I didn't need a toothbrush. We don't need it. No, we're good. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate you 100%. You're the man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, she, she's on her third DUI. Uh, she's supposed to go to jail for a year. But what we did, we got her off zero jail. No it's prison a, gang. Also, the other weird thing is that he's, like, kind of putting them on blast. Yeah. Like, yeah. publicly humiliating them for his <laughs> own bit. practice. Third DUI in California carries a mandatory minimum of 120 days. Here, the prosecutor offer us 310 days. We fought hard and secured a deal with zero jail time, baby. <laughs> Chad's saying the real life Saul Goodman. Exactly. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Honestly, this guy's even less tactful than Saul with, right. with the way he's like, like Saul knows how to keep it like, like classy on the surface, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, look at this shit. Domestic violence. Oh my God. Two, <laughs> like, I'm just saying. Two domestic violence cases consolidated into trespassing. Big dubs. Check it out. 
All right, we're right outside. Look at that big smile. <laughs> He's like, this man just killed his wife, and today I'm happy to say he got probation. He's oh moving in with God. his new girlfriend. <laughs> Downtown LA with my great client here. It was falsely alleged against him that he committed domestic violence against the mother of his child on one day. And it was also falsely alleged again that he did it two and a half months later. This was two domestic violence cases consolidated into one. And we just resolved the case. What did we resolve it for? What was the, the conviction? Trespassing. Trespassing. <laughs> We were fighting this case for about seven to eight what? months. We announced ready for trial on this case. We we're ready to go forward and beat the charges. And I'm pleased to announce that once once he's done with probation, it's going to be gone off his record once we expunge it. How you feel? I feel great. Appreciate you. Let's go. <laughs> God, he's, guy he's is like my life still sucks, you know. Uh, what a Let's dub, go. Dude. I love dub. this guy, man. He's the fucking greatest. Here we go. And I like how he makes him participate. What did we get? Exactly. We exactly. Got... And they don't want to be put on out there. No, like this please. man beat his wife three times. What was your name? <laughs> <laughs> this one goes uh, second time DUI with alcohol and cocaine. <laughs> 150 day, days of jail reduced to zero. Oh my god. My man. All right, we just got out of court in beautiful All right. Newport Beach. We're here on a second time DUI. My great client here uh, was pulled over. He had double the legal limit. He was actually at 0.18 blood alcohol content. He had 13 nanograms of cocaine in his blood. He found an empty vial of that also. Uh, he was looking at 150 days of county jail out here, and we just crushed it. He's going to do how much jail? Uh, none. Zero, Zero jail. Time. Let's Zero go. Jail. <laughs> and after a year, he's going to be all done with this case, and he can move on with his life. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate the, the help and the work that you put in. It's great. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's you know we got a soundbite that some there. Music, oh drum shots of the court. <laughs> Let's want, go. I wonder if it's in like the contract they signed that you have to make a TikTok at the end with him. I think I think they're, they're I don't know, man. Maybe maybe yeah, gets him a I think what he does. 10 off yeah. if you let me uh, put you on blast on TikTok. I think what he does is he's just like, oh, there's one thing I want to do real fast. Yeah. And then they're stuck there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For a second, I was like, what if he's just joking? What if this is all just shtick? Um, no. But I looked it up. He passed his bar. No, he's <laughs> real. Yeah. No, there's a lot of them. He does this like every day. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Another domestic abuse uh, case. <laughs> All right, we're right outside of court in Indio. It's 106 degrees. We're here on a domestic violence restraining order. Uh, my great client here uh, was accused of many, many instances of domestic violence. <laughs> many, many, many. Christ. Great he client. tried to get a restraining order. <laughs> well, I'm very proud to announce he's a free man. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the best. Is this not the craziest this shit you've ever seen? the greatest ever. It's cons They're all false. His ex perjured herself like crazy. Like one crazy. by one, we attacked each <laughs> accusation. And in the end, what happened? None of them are true, man. Thrown away. All Let's gone. go. Oh my God. Let's Davis go. Let's go. Well, if I ever get charged with a crime, I know who I'm. <laughs> I know who I'm hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, let's go. We got to get his face on a sign just being like, let's go. Let's go. You know, like, criminal defense lawyers, that's a, that's a very valuable thing in society. And, like, you know, it is. All right, people we're right outside deserve to. All right, we're right uh, outside of court. Why, why, why the but, fuck TikTok start autoplaying audio now when it's small? <laughs> it's just. TikTok sucks. Okay, go it, up. Sorry, Dan. I'm just saying, like, the, you know. What's so abhorrent about this, though, is just like the the bragging, like that's the it, braggadocious attitude about getting these people off is just some of these so I, weird. I feel like there's even worse ones. Like, look at this. But also so unaware. Like he's accused of many, 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 <laughs> many <Yeah>. assaults. <laughs> My great client. <laughs> look at this She's one. Still the mother of his child, but we're celebrating. Uh. 
you know, look at this one. Four years prison suspended for felony probation violation, reduced to four months rehab. Yeah. All right, we're right outside of San Fernando Courthouse. What's I'm the here weather with my today? My client's wife. Uh, my client was convicted of a crime and had four years of prison suspended. So any more violations during probation and he would go away to prison for four years automatically. Um, last time we were in court about a week ago, the judge indicated that he wanted to send him away for the four years. Uh, we did some work up on the case and today we had a deal with the judge where uh, my client, her husband will be able to go to a rehab program for about four to six months and then he'll be free. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel that doesn't sound that too we, bad. That we accomplished. I like that. Yeah, I mean, that one was less objectionable. I love all the here. Here's another domestic abuse one. Great day today in court. <laughs> We're about to start a jury trial today. We had the jurors waiting for us outside and she was accused of domestic violence against her uh, father of her child. And look, he lied so much in this case, and he was just turning her life upside down with these accusations. He was even going to family court, filed a request for two. full custody, two requests. Two restraining orders that were dismissed and then for full custody. Yeah, we, we beat those, right? Mm -hmm. Dismissed, he wasn't found credible. So, you know, he's probably still in court right now trying to convince the DA to to go forward with the jury yeah. trial that's not going forward. How do you feel? David is so amazing. Like, he, God sent him to me to represent me. Praise God. David will fight for you. <laughs> he truly cares about his clients, and he, and he, he always answers his phone. So thank you so much, David. All right. Praise God. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> I love the let's go. It's so good. You see, the praise God. you see the top comment in his response on that I one? I can fix her. What was it? No, it was like, I can charge her, and then he responded with like a crying, laughing emoji. Great day to- I can change her. Oh, change her. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Wait, what? Today in- It's just one, it's something like- Great day- You go, I can- Just try to- Day today- Well, there's actually not that many, so- I'll take one, too. All right, we're right outside of Van Nuys Courthouse. I Yo, this is awesome. He has more on his Instagram. Here. He was charged with a second time DUI. What? He has more on his Instagram. I'm watching through them right now. Okay, let me know if there's any yeah. good ones. <laughs> so the top comment on this one is, no, keep this man off the road for life so you know it's good. <laughs> here we go. All right, we're right outside of Van Nuys Courthouse. I got my great client here. He was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he had admittedly overdosed on multiple different drugs. Oh, this, this is, I think this is the one I saw. Because it's like, he admits to <laughs> oh it. Oh my God. He did all this, and we got him back on the road. <laughs> My great client here, he was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he admittedly <laughs> overdosed on multiple different drugs that night. He caused a drug induced psychosis. He crashed with two other cars on a freeway. He flipped over a few times. Luckily, ah, everyone made it out. I can't. Oh, I was just looking at his face. <laughs> This man ran over a whole family on the highway. <laughs> he was blackout drunk, tested positive for PCP. <laughs> he was gonna go to jail for life, and we got him out on bond, ladies and gentlemen. No jail time, reduced to ten to ten months of community service, and he got his license restated. Huge dub. <laughs> All the comments are, no, keep this man off the road. Bro is unleashing super villains. Send this man back to jail. <laughs> that is the worst one by far. Uh, and this comment, this is what I was laughing at. He says, the bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro is standing there like, yeah, I did all that. <laughs> like, watch homie's face who he, who he got off. <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. This is the best one. <laughs> Courthouse. I got my great client here. He was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he admittedly overdosed on multiple different drugs that night. Get him. He caused a drug induced psychosis. He crashed with two other cars on a freeway and flipped over a few times. Luckily, everyone made it out all right. Okay, that's good. Um, the fire department came with the police, they used the jaws of life, dragged him out of the car, and started fighting with them. They charged him with resisting the arrest. Also. Um, and <laughs> the firefighters <laughs> fire drag him out of the jaws of life and he just starts punching him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus uh. Christ.
Let's see how he. Let's see. Let's see how he gets him off. Oh my God! This is the best. So, um, and we're pleased to announce that he's getting out of this with just a wet reckless. Hey, wet reckless. Wet reckless. That's a Ryan Kavanaugh. That's the Ryan oh, yeah. Kavanaugh move. Right. <laughs> Yo, what? He's like, he went into full psychosis, overdosed on multiple drugs, caused a major wreck on the freeway, hit two other cars, and fought fighting? with the police. <laughs> and the firefighters. Re it's just a wet and reckless, guys. We're very proud to announce that here today. Now, here's your license, buddy. Get back on the road. <laughs> Cheers. A probation, not five years, that is normally given in a second time DUI. And most importantly, he's really changed his life around. He put himself in rehab immediately after this happened. He's okay. been in for nine months. He does meetings every single day, and he's really turned his life around. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thank you so much, David, for everything I've done. All right. You know, All that's, right. Good. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's awesome I, I'm at the end. pro-rehab, anti-jail. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, but holy shit. Yeah, just the way it just kept piling on. That doesn't sound like a wet a, rec a wet and reckless to me. <laughs> that sounds like straight menace. To, like, that man should not be able to drive again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, holy shit, dude. Oh, that was <laughs> fucking... Right outside of, we're, we're right outside of Torrance Courthouse. Uh, we're here today on a case that was actually two cases put together. Possession of meth for sales. He gets bailed out. Four months later, gets caught for the same exact thing. And... Uh, okay. <laughs> is he trying to make them like... Some, this man is a serial meth dealer. He's got a hustle hat on. <laughs> I took this case with the intention of taking the case to jury trial. And we're going to try the case in April but COVID happened and we haven't been able to do that. This is the best deal I have ever seen in my entire career. After he does a sober living program, he will get a felony dismissed and as if the case never happened, all right? And he's gonna be able to live the rest of his life as if this never happened and he'll have his life back. How do you feel? Amazing, I got my life back. Dave is an amazing man, he saved my life. Um, I can't ask for more. Man. Let's go. I'm very thankful. I feel blessed. And thanks, Dave. Of course. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, let's go. <laughs> this right guy's. Un I'm sorry, but who are you? This guy's unreal. I mean, I guess it's good marketing for what he does. Right. You know? it, it, totally. You know, he he's oh, good, he's good at his job, evidently. <laughs> Slip. All right, we just oh, we got saw this one. <laughs> All right, we're right at that side of court. I'm with my great client here. He was charged with committing a DUI. Uh, on top of that, the police falsified the report and accused him of admitting to doing donuts in a parking lot. Uh, he then <laughs> allegedly crashed into a pole, hurt himself. Thank God no one else was hurt, and thank God it wasn't too serious. Mm -hmm. Went to the hospital, but we just took a deal today. We're gonna have the DUI charges dismissed, mm -hmm. and he just took a reckless driving, which is so crucial because instead of three years of probation with a DUI, he's only gonna have probation for one year. After he's done with probation, we could file for an expungement and clean his record like it never happened. How you feel? The, the one thing I hate about this, like I'm anti-crim, like jail, but DUIs are, you. if you get more than one DUI, you should never drive, period, ever. So this like three time DUI, we got his license back. Yeah. That shit's Just fucked. Great. Oh my gosh, what a relief. You know. Thank you so much, David. David, you've helped me out immensely here. Can't thank you enough, my man, really. Let's go. Let's right. celebrate. Wait, I want to hear the let's go. Right outside of core, I'm with my let's go grab a drink. Immensely. Yeah. Can't thank you enough, man, really. That's my pleasure. Great. Thank you, man. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Love oh, that. Right. Oh. Too much wine, sorry. Do you find anything good on Instagram, maybe? No, I, I feel like nothing could top the ones we've already seen. <laughs> oh, I fucking love I did love find this. that one client got a tattoo of his phone number because he what? was so gracious. Wow. You get a discount? Oh, that was a good question. Should. Yeah. All right, we're right outside of court. We got an excellent result today on a DUI case. My great client here caused a traffic accident with a few parked cars. He was eventually found to have 
double the legal limit of blood alcohol. At first, he refused doing the alcohol test, so the police had to get a warrant to force a blood draw. Uh, so we came to court, and he was charged with enhancements for having such a high blood alcohol content, for refusing the b blood alcohol test. And he was looking at losing his license for a year uh, without the ability to even get a restricted license. I'm really happy to announce that today we got him an excellent deal, no enhancements, literally as low as you can go in terms of punishment for a DUI, and he's he's back to driving, and we're all good to go. How do you feel? I feel great, man. Appreciate it. He's, uh, I love that. He's back to driving. <laughs> man, did you hear what you just said? You share the roads with these people. Just a few parked cars is all he had. Just a couple. Yeah. <laughs> that this man is doing a public disservice. <laughs> Holy shit. He's in here commenting too. He doesn't give a fuck. He just said no. Oh god. Great stuff, right? All right, we're yeah. right outside of court. We got an excellent wow. result today on a deep fucking incredible. Oh, here he is at Coachella, bonus meme. Let's see his fit. Let's rate the fit. Just the suit, you're keeping it real. All right, I just finished up with court and I'm walking to my car and I'm gonna get started heading to Coachella. Who's coming? Hit me up. No. Oh my God. All right, I just... <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna meet a lot of clients there. <laughs> right. Hit me up, is he talking to like, if you're, if you like need a lawyer, he's looking for friends or <laughs> yeah, clients. Yeah, I know. You're looking for we're friends gonna, or clients? We're gonna I meet up. friends that will turn into clients. Friends and clients, there's no difference. I wonder what's his hour, hourly rate. You, you can hire him for the, some of the lawsuits. <laughs> I don't think he's a litigator. Oh, okay. He seems more of a... I don't know what you call what he does, man. He specializes in getting people off DUIs, it seems like, and domestic violence. Well, there you have it, guys. There you have it. If you get if you get uh, drug induced psychosis and <laughs> crash into a bunch of vehicles, he's your guy. Punch a cop in the Flip face. Flip a car and attack a cop. He's your guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's awesome, the, man. He's the Ty Lopez of law. <laughs> mm, interesting. Who wants me to take their money? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fresh and fit. We got new fresh and fit cringe. Yeah, um, uh, we should I tell our we stories time. too. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering because I know yeah. you guys have a hard out today, and I wanted to get to the story <clears throat> time thing. So, oh, God, I'm I so itchy again. Itchy? You, <laughs> you know, I started taking the Wellbutrin, and I was so excited about it. And now, it's making you itch. Yeah. I had to stop taking it because I got like a rash, uh -huh. and I'm like itchy all over my fucking body. Hmm. My arms, my butt. Like the side of my butt cheeks, my now it's on my face. That's like a known side effect of it. No, it's mm. not. Oh. It's like super <clears throat> rare, weird side effect. But yeah. I called my doctor this morning, and he told me to stop taking it. It could be he. We could try a different generic of the drug or the name brand of the drug, but I'm all itchy now. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know if it's that or something else, but nothing yeah, else no, changed. No, no. I do. I just Googled Wellbutrin itching skin, and there is a lot of stuff about it. So I, I just saw that. It what about said, rash? Like, call your yeah, it specifically says that. Call your doctor right away if you have a rash, itching, swelling yeah. on the face, tongue, so or throat. So that's what we did. Yeah. So yeah, it sounds like you had a reaction to it. Well, that's unfortunate. You were very excited about it. Well, hopefully, it. one of the other ones will work. Cause right. I'm just gonna be fat forever. Speaking of which, TGI Fridays. <laughs> You ever had a perfectly, you ever had a perfectly layered nacho? No. Mm hmm <laughs> Used to go to TGI Fridays uh, to uh, hang out after serving shifts all the time. There was like one right down the street. Didn't, Maybe, didn't you say you did the same thing back in the day? We used, no, at Cedar Point we used to. It was like the only restaurant that was at this amusement park, so we'd always go hang gotcha. out there when we'd visit there. Yeah. Wait, you would get off your server shift and go to TGI? You'd go spend all of our tips at another restaurant. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, terrible, terrible strategy. Why yeah. would you do that? Because you, I mean, you worked in a restaurant, right? You know how stressful. Usually they like, got free drinks and, wine and stuff. Oh, fuck no, they would not give us free drinks oh. at my restaurant. 
Hell no. Yeah, we got, we, we're ba I mean, <laughs> it was really poorly managed, so like. See, so yeah, I worked at like a corporate chain. Right? Oh yeah, no, it wasn't yeah. like that. It was a restaurant at like a high-end camping resort, and it was really, really badly managed, so <laughs> we were eating like filet mignons for <laughs> free, what? pot roast, drinks. Actually sad, I'm sad to say this, but someone got so fucked up there one night, one of the servers, he drove home and fucking died. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So it was it's actually. A, it's a really crazy road to get there. It's the one. It's up the one from Santa oh, yeah. Cruz. So it's all windy and fucked oh, up. Oh, yeah. It's windy. And this guy got oh, blackout yeah. drunk and drove home after getting trashed at the bar. And he just flipped his fucking car going like 100 miles per hour. Yikes. That's horrible. You know, I thought it was weird, really weird. I'm not one to judge grieving parents because I can only imagine how, how painful that was. <clears throat> But they had a memorial where he died, on on the one mm -hmm. where they asked all friends and family to come, and they had a and they threw a kegger there. <clears throat> You're kidding? No, I swear to God, they brought a keg and everyone was drinking. No, swear to fucking God. You not? Was, no, I'm not kidding. I swear to fucking God, they brought a keg there to the side of the road where he died. Like beer? You could see his fucking blood stained on the concrete still. Bruh. And they brought a keg out. A what? keg is like beer? Yeah, yeah. big ass keg of beer. And that's what I say. I, look, I'm not, to, I'm not trying to judge parents who are families yeah, you know grieving. What? I don't know. But I thought that was pretty weird. That There's is... no right way to doing <laughs> grieving, so. Well, <laughs> one is that everyone gonna be driving home drunk because that's like remote. And yeah, that exactly. Is <laughs> They're like, how bad do you miss him? Who's trying to join him? Yeah. Right. I mean, it's it's notoriously one of the most dangerous. But roads. in a way, it's like the kid loved to drink. Party? I don't know. Yeah, I think that was their logic. I I don't know. I feel like. Um, I think it was a family of alcohol. <clears throat> it's kind of sure. like it kind of sucks how like we don't ever talk about how like what to do in that moment, and so it's like you don't know what to do so. I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. Well, what if your son OD'd on heroin and you're like, let's shoot it up, shoot last one up for our boy? Who cares? No, but Stop I mean, it. like, beer is not heroin. <laughs> but you well, have a cup of beer. No, they were trashed. Let's assume that the ones that were drinking did not drive. They did. <laughs> Stop. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you have Shout it. Out to his <clears throat> By the yeah. way, for your uh, itchiness, do you want some. Uh, uh, hydrocortisone? No, cream? nothing. Yeah, we don't take face. anything on the <laughs> show. <laughs> Somebody just suggested that to me. Is that what blew me up last time? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, that was super weird, man. I went out there. You know, it's a good 30 minutes from town drive. Yeah. And I went out there with a few of my other buddies who worked <clears throat> at that restaurant. And... Would they, his parents were there, and they fucking had a whole keg, and people had red cups, and I was like, this is weird, that bro. Is, I thought you were trolling. I mean, it was just no, so they absurd. were trashed, and they were drinking from a keg on the side of the road. It was fucking weird. <laughs> but that's it. You know, it's painful. It's mm -hmm. painful, so... can only imagine. Very painful. But there you have it. All right, what's Fresh and Fit been up to? Um... They received dozens of DMs on Instagram letting them know that Pokimane reacted to their video. What did Pokey... Which, which of their videos did Pokey react to? It was like an old video. It was the one that's going viral about them saying, uh, if you're dating someone, they shouldn't have an Instagram for dating a girl. Right. Mm -hmm. It's cheating. He, he said, for a girl to have Instagram, it's cheating. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. These guys are basically like... They're closer to ISIS than they are to me <laughs> in terms of like treating women. I swear to God. Real quick, <laughs> you're gonna die. Uh, Andy Dick just followed me on Instagram. Oh <laughs> no! Okay, I told him DM him. I told him hit up Zach. He so it's happening. <laughs> Did you actually say hit up Zach? Like no bullshit. I forget. <laughs> just say what you said. Okay. No, no. Me? Yeah. No, I said just call us back. That's yeah, it. just call us back. <laughs> but he knows what's going on. But how does he remember you? I don't know. That's so so. Message him. Okay. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> Want him to call in? Sure. 
I'd like to know what he said first. <laughs> did um, <clears throat> did nobody find him talking about us? He's well, he's the kind of guy to scream the N word on like a live show. Though, okay, so I it? was about to type yeah. this out to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know about having him on live. He's like yeah. he's re he's got nothing to lose. This man. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good he's point. He's down really bad. He sleeps yeah. at his friend's couch. He doesn't have a house. No. <laughs> Yeah, let's abort. Well, let's let's chat with him. Not live. Not no. I don't. We're not going to take his live call because he's untrustworthy. Yeah. But. But uh, just type with him. See if he responds. We can get a little chat going. Yeah, there's um, nothing. He sleeps on <laughs> Ice Poseidon's couch. N not ice. For not that, ice. I'm not sure Poseidon. if you're joking. That was I made a yeah, logical yeah. leap there. All right. Should we should we skip to our stories because I don't know if we'll have time for everything. <clears throat> well, our heart out is we still have an hour ten. Okay. This fresh and fit thing is. I could see it taking an hour to get through. Dude, I love <laughs> fresh and fit. Come I, on. I, I, I'm just I'm warning you that. Let's it, do I it. I think the story is more fun. She's right. Well, if it's taking too long, I just want to watch the video. I see y'all got like stats and shit. I just let here we have a best moments that AB put a lot of work into, right? And Dan helped me out this morning. You guys slaved over hard. this best moments. It was <laughs> there were so many good moments, it was hard to cut it down. I had to have Dan help me with the final thirty minutes. So anyway, she reacted to that clip. We all did. I mean everybody was watching that clip. Okay. He went on to react to her, noting that he wanted to attack her points, not her directly. I go and look Am I, is this just paraphrasing the video yeah, I'm going to watch? Yeah, you just click the link, pretty much. Yeah. So here we go. The other day... 13 minutes? Holy shit. This is one. This, this is, I mean, this is cut down from like almost two hours when I'm talking about it, or like an hour wow. and a half or something, so... Is there Patreon popping? Did we look before and there was like nobody there, right? I honestly oh. don't recall. I check my Instagram. A lot of time you can't and I, see how many subs people have on Patreon. But I know they only charge 30 on Cameo for the both of them. Oof. That's less than all of us. <laughs> well, I don't think Car Co Coconuts and Barbados gets paid. <laughs> so it's a better deal. 30 for both of them? We know that's like 10 bucks after the fee right. and shit. <laughs> that's crazy. Between the two of them. <laughs> all right, you five gotta bucks hustle. Each. All right. You gotta hustle. Picking Coconuts and Barbados. <laughs> it says it so fast. <laughs> Play it again? Coconuts and Barbados. I, he says he speaks fast. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I get a bunch of DMs. Pokemon's reacting to your stuff. And I was like, what? Is that a Pokemon? I was like, is that a Pokemon? Whatever. Because I. <laughs> this guy. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. So. Yo. <laughs> throughout this whole podcast, he does this the whole time. This is his comedy. Every time they say Pokemon. That's how they got Pokemon her. Pokemon Barbados. Yeah. He brought his Pokemon yeah. cards to get her good. Epic. That's so fucking clever, though. Yeah. And insulting, too, because everybody hates Pokemon. 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 Pokemon cards. I go and I look and I see that she's breaking down this old ass video of us. And I'm not going to attack her personally, guys. Nah, I'm just going to attack her arguments because the one thing that stuck out to me, guys, is that she has a very similar thought process to a lot of the girls that come on this show. All right. So uh, let's pull up this clip right here, man. This is her reacting to us on a, an old video. By the way, video production, hu like shooting directly into a sunny balcony, <laughs> fucking major dubs in terms of production. That's the first thing I said. And then at night, it reflects. You can see the big bright light. I didn't, this is like awesome. No curtains, right? You want that sun going directly into the lens. <laughs> That's a really Even good Even my idea. mom knows not to do that. <laughs> It's great. No, it's really great. <laughs> We're talking about using Instagram as a girl is cheating. Chris, you, you uh... Yeah, you know I'm at it again. So. Okay. You got it for us. Yeah. Man, it is Wednesday, and Shout man. out to our guy, Agent Fit, that helped us with making this video. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that shit stopped me in my tracks. I was like, what? What? <laughs> Man, excellent Wednesday, soundbite, man. dude. I cannot. Man, that's his. He, what are you? Are you having a conversation with somebody else? Are you guys even like? Having, why are you even there, dude? 
Man, <laughs> it's Wednesday, man. It sure is, buddy. It's so weird. Oh, who's fresh and I don't know who's fit. Men and women are not the same. We're not the same at all. Can I get into a nightclub for free? Just based on the way I look? Yes. Pause real quick, guys. So I want to establish this real fast. Because a lot of these issues come from this one, one, this one premise that women have incorrect all the time. Thinking that men and women are the same. Number oh, one, step one. Quick note, We're because all... it's not really clear in the edit. Mm -hmm. At this point, when he pauses it and then goes on to, uh, to make this very good point that he's about to make, Pokimane has said nothing. <laughs> Not spoken. Literally, all, all she said is, "I'm not sure which one is fresh and which one is fake." That's all she said. So he's reacting so, to what he already talked about in the original clip. I guess. Awesome. But no commentary yet. Mm -hmm. Right. All human beings. All human beings are meant to procreate. Okay. Step three. There's two genders. I know that sounds crazy nowadays, <laughs> but there's two genders, guys: men and women. And each gender has a different mating strategy for men it's unlimited sex with as many girls as possible right unlimited sexuality as we say with our boy rollo tomasi for women i'm a Rolo switch tony. Oh, oh shout out rollo Rolo tony, Rolo tony Brown Town. what are you genghis khan I don't, I don't understand what you're saying biologically <laughs> if you get as many women as pregnant what are you a fucking ant i mean what are you a moth i mean dude we're fuck we live in a society it's 2022 you don't Need twenty kids, bro. Just use what the it's fuck. Trying to send people to Mars, like. Uh, Are you yeah. trying to colonize a new planet? Yeah, exactly. Raised, <laughs> raised by wolves. <laughs> by the way, raised by wolves. Yeah. Good I job. only watched one episode, but very good. We watched two, didn't or we? two, sorry. Yeah. But we just, I just finished Severance. I don't know if you already talked about it. We did a bit. I just okay. said it was really so good. good. Yeah. Severance, really good show. Yeah. Shout um, out. At, these guys were raised by wolves, but it's like <laughs> they're like look biologically I'm supposed to have sex with I'm supposed to be promiscuous and have sex with as many women as possible It's like man. Just take responsibility. You're just a fucking douchebag. You're just a sleaze bag, bro You know what I'm saying? Yo, I need to repopulate Mars Oh, I know you say you, you might have a different definition, but mine is Unlimited security with quality. And then Fre yeah, serious, Fresh right. is like, man, it's a Wednesday. <laughs> man, you might have it a different is Wednesday, <laughs> man. <laughs> you might have a different definition than mine. Man, it's Wednesday right now. Okay. So, men want the most, women want the best. And if you guys think about it, each strategy is kind of counterproductive. I don't want the most. The I'm not trying to do that. Speak for yourself. I want the best. And I got it. Hey, oh, I'm not looking. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Speak. Yeah, speak for yourself, bro. It's a gender. In other words, if a guy gets with a girl, right, and he's monogamous, what is he doing? He's suppressing his sexual strategy. If a woman fucks a guy and gets with him, and he doesn't provide security, this show is so that's weird. going against her sexual strategy. <laughs> so so weird. I can't believe this show. It's like you know, it's another planet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like middle school planet. philosophy too. Because what he's yeah. saying is not. Fucking revolutionary or exciting or fresh. It's really it's low hanging fruit. So pretty like, far from all that. Yeah. But on the head. <laughs> like why? Philosophy is the best way to put it. Yeah. Like, it's. But why know. does he think that he's like there to teach anybody something? I don't know. He says well, that's his mission. His people, mission is to uh, to educate men. He says we, it. In, in, yeah. I, where I where did the, the knowledge actually. come to him from? Well. As Dan pointed out earlier when he was watching the edit, that the whole thing is just a self-report. Somebody <laughs> definitely hurt him. Yeah. And he's projecting. His no, mom. you'll see. Yeah. He's like going... His or, mom. Or, or just I think the women that he's tried to date or whatever. Because yeah. like he's no, always going on think... about like, they're going to make fun of you. They're going to laugh in your face. Oh. They're not going to want to date you. It's like, that's you, man. Like that's, that's I don't think a woman you. dating you can fuck you up this bad. I think only a parent can fuck you up this bad. Probably. Right. He always comes in like... Yeah. It's childhood trauma. Possibly. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you can have a bad day, you can have a really rotten girlfriend, but tr only childhood trauma can make you hate women this much. Perhaps. What, A.B.? No, I was saying, he always slips in, uh, you know, girls always tell you small dick energy, like, he, that <laughs> somehow always makes it in there. That's what makes me think that maybe, potentially a relationship, but a combination, to be honest. Yeah. In my opinion. Oops. Some Barbados. Yeah. Man, the sun up. The sun is up today. Man, it's a Wednesday. It's a sunny Wednesday. Whoa. Someone has to concede in the relationship typically. Here's the problem though. 
We live in a world now where the female Where is Pokemon saying anything? Is, she hasn't said anything yet. That's, like, that's, that's what I'm said. saying. By, like, as he's she's like, just sitting there quietly. In the midst of this rant, all she said is, which one is fresh and which one is fit? That's all she said. Man, this, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> Respected more and upheld more. And I'll take it a step further. We have economic backing to strengthen the female sexual strategy. Y'all don't believe me? Look at the family courts. Look at the Me Too era. Look at how- Bro, God, okay, I can't even okay, listen. we got it. You're doing- He's got like a routine. It's like, we yeah. got it. I got a fast- Just fast- yeah, When do you just talk about okay. Pokemon? Okay, here. Let's- Oh, yeah, that they're oppressed. They're not oppressed at all. Because I can't think of one privilege or right that a man enjoys that a woman doesn't. Pretty much, and, and well, some of y'all might say, oh, you might be able to walk down the street and feel safer. That's a dumbass argument I get from the girls most of the time. Uh, well, actually, men are far more likely to be the victims of violent crime. Almost two to three times as much. A lot of modern Violent women crime. I don't think they're talking about I don't about think we're talking crime. about violent. Like, yeah. what a nice way to um, shift the status to, to yeah. justify what he's trying to say. Yeah, they're talking about sex. They're talking about essay, bro. Yeah, obviously. Sit there and think we're the same. And we're not, okay? But they Wait. will not concede to the fact that they get so many different advantages and benefits as a woman that a man will never enjoy. Stop, stop cutting me off. Stop what? Yes, you so can. You're still living right? Like, men can sell feet pics too. You know what? If you are a guy, and um, if you're a man with petite feet, take advantage. Pause. I'm just saying, the mark. <laughs> You stupid. The, 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 again, I can't tell you how many times. I'm pretty sure she's just making a joke. Yeah. <laughs> you get a record scratch that? She didn't even say anything about you, dude. Uh, women, biologically, don't get to have humor sense. So. What that's, not that's not possible that she was making a joke. How are we going to record scratch that? Three times I've had girls. The porn star that was on the show yesterday, what did she try to say? Oh, I paid for porn. Guys can make money on OnlyFans, bruh. Yeah, like I, when women say this, it is disingenuous and it's not true. When girls try to say that, like, oh, there's girls thirsting on guys' Instagrams, or there's guys out there that make a lot of money on OnlyFans for smashing chicks, or there's guys out there that pull chicks or whatever. Dude, what are you? Are he's like arguing with himself. Yeah. Just to point out, in 2021, five of the top 15 OnlyFans creators are guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, that that's that's wow. crazy. Yeah, we saw that the crazy. Tyga. Is actually one of the top. He's like number five. Number four. I really? Think we saw on the yeah, list. Like you know, you know who's in that top fifteen. Wow. You know who's also Who? in that top fifteen? Who? Nikocado. Wow. Yeah. No shot. Like Which really runs yeah. counter to his narrative because yeah. it's like yeah. uh, he isn't like the ideal male body yeah. archetype or anything like Wait, that. Wait, Nikocado's top fifteen? He was like, like number website? thirteen or 13. something. What? Maybe I do have that, a, maybe but, I do have potential. To that. <laughs> uh, it's uh, there's a link to it in the doc, the list, if you want to see. That's why I don't get anything this guy is saying. Like it's not based on anything in reality, none of it. What the Nikocado? Yeah, Black China, Bellthorn, Cardi B, Tyga, your boy, New uh, Don't don't show the screen. Careful, careful. <laughs> that bad. <laughs> No, it's not actually. Oh, number. Oh, here. Here's a dude. There's another guy. Nicki Minaj's ex. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Here's another Nick guy. Nick Aaron, Aaron Carter. Carter. Okay. <laughs> Bell Delphine. There he is. Yes. Hi. What the fuck? Oh, he's Ukrainian. Shout out. I don't know that. Um, he remains. Here, let me read the description. Um. If you subscribe to a celebrity OnlyFans account expecting more of the same, you'd be shockingly disappointed. The outrageous personality is still on display, but so is everything else, and we mean everything else. Well, there you go. Well, if you're into whatever he's offering, you'd be very happy, because he, like they said, goes all out. Whoa, Nick Okado. What about Bad Baby? She apparently made like 50 million bucks. That was this year. I'm not sure she was yeah, the right age last year. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Did you hear that? She made 50. She, she just, she, the day she turned 18, you know Bad Baby, right? The yeah. Cash Me Outside? Yeah. The day she turned 18, she made OnlyFans, 
and then she showed her stats recently, and the first year she made fifty million. Five zero. Five zero million. What? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. After OnlyFans cut, it was like forty three. But yeah, it's well, ridiculous. Good for her. Yeah, I was like, dude, that, that that's like dynasty money. You put that in the that is stock wild. market, and you're like your your great 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 grandkids won't have to fucking pay yeah, for shit. One crazy. year on OnlyFans. Wow. The certain point, just to make a point that's unrelated. Does that make sense? Because he's like, women have certain privileges. Yes. So why are you guys trying to impose rules on men who don't have as many privileges? And it's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Who started comparing? Who said point blank period women have more advantages than men? That's a fact. <laughs> we just established that. Women have more privileges. Would you guys agree with that statement? I'm curious. In relationships, women enjoy far more privileges than men do. They have all the leverage when it comes to dating and relationships. What? <laughs> oh, he, he's saying because women are more oh, picky God. than he is that the, the, they have more privilege. Because whatever. So the whole stupid. thing's so boring. You know what's so interesting to me, though, is that he we shit on these guys <laughs> mercilessly. <laughs> yeah. And he never responded to us this much. But the minute Pokimane talks about him a little bit, he does a whole fucking podcast about her. Uh, I find that interesting, don't you guys? Yeah, I mean, from his perspective, it's probably smart. I mean, she is much, much, much bigger than them. And so she's talking about them. And so oh he's trying to... Right, which is why he... Well, I mean, they responded to us a bunch on the I podcast. didn't get my own podcast. Maybe not a whole one dedicated to it. That's true. That's true. A but play yeah. by play? Look at this. Right. No, you're right. I mean, it definitely. I mean, he was obviously triggered. Like I said, I mean, he went off on a, like a 10 minute ramp triggered before she even woman. opened her mouth. Does this guy say anything the whole time? No. I mean, other than. It's he Wednesday, makes, he makes man. A few jokes. <laughs> I'm afraid that you're going to miss them. <laughs> whenever, whenever he chimes in, he's generally just kind of saying the same thing the other guy is saying, but stumbling over it the entire time and not really articulating himself very well. So. I'm starting to feel bad for this guy. Like, is he like, is he slow? And I don't mean that as I, an insult. No, I, I don't, don't think so. I don't think so. I feel bad for him because I knew he uh, he immigrated here, and I feel like Fit is one of the first people that he mm. met, and he just kind of went along with whatever he was saying. <laughs> he th he doesn't even belong there. Yeah, he doesn't even belong there. I feel like he don't hate women like the other guy do. Uh, yeah, he's just, like he's he just, just wants a homie. Yeah. yeah. So he's fresh. He's got a big ass necklace, so you can this remember. This is how I remember it because yeah. everyone always asks in the office. I say fresh coconuts. Mm. That's how fresh I coconuts. Yeah. yeah, Fit is definitely the leader here. <laughs> the guy hasn't said a word. I get the feeling he doesn't pay this guy. <laughs> He's but, just doing it for free. Yeah, I for think, the love of the game. I don't think he pays him. Violence for them going against the grain. This is why so many girls are politically correct. This is why so many girls are, are not um, adversarial when it comes to viewpoints and the way that they speak. They go with what mainstream media says because they don't want to do women do. They want you to sit there and play by their rules. <laughs> when they got their shit given to them, meanwhile, you had to bust your ass to get it. He's so angry, dude. I don't even know why you're so angry. I have so no angry. idea what he's talking about. I don't understand why he's so angry. Like, he's tall and he's like... Like, he has all the things that you would like... That incelies would be like, oh, I wish that. Like he's relatively attractive. He's tall. Like I'm. Why do you have so much trouble with men, with women? Because your fucking personality is horrible, dude. Like you should be having a really easy time with women, uh, with your bl natural blessings that you're physically blessed with. I mean, the hairline's struggling a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I saw it's fading in the back, but that's fine. Nothing to criticize there. But other than that, he's got it all. And I'm just saying, I think the reason women don't like you is probably because you're just fucking horrible. <laughs> all right, let's do our stories. It turned out not that interesting. Yeah. Um, are you guys brought stats? Yeah, stats. let's move on. It doesn't uh, move matter. On. It I don't just care doesn't about matter. Them. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty boring. All right, so here we have a topic that we have a, a, a conversation topic. The dumbest thing you believed as a child. Now, when I think about this, I'm thinking about like when your parents be like, if you come out of bed at past 
past 9 p.m. There's monsters in the hallway that will mm -hmm. eat like your parents tell you some fucked up shit mm -hmm. That you believe for the rest of your life So everyone feel pretty good like they got good ones. I Think I got a pretty decent one. Honestly, I was struggling with this uh, I mean I th had immediately thought of a few but they just weren't I don't know like funny or that interesting just typical kid shit but, you know, why don't you go? Yeah, I feel the same way. I, I made a list. No, you go ahead and go first, Dan, if you want. Okay, sure. Well, the one that I was reminded of this morning because I was talking with the guys about when I this is <laughs> when I was in elementary school. It, it must have been it must have been like one of the first days of kindergarten. I remember my dad was there with me to uh, drop me off at school, and. Yeah, it must have been one of the first days because the principal was there, like greeting all the new kindergartners that they came in. And my dad leaned down to me and was like, okay, well, make sure, behave yourself, be good. You see the principal right there? Do you see his gun? <laughs> his gun? <laughs> you see it? It's on his hip. Do you see it? Like, oh my no. God. He's like, well, you better behave yourself. <laughs> Oh God! Why would and, you say that? Wow! <laughs> and I, I thought he was totally serious, and I was like, "Oh wow! If you like, if you're, if you like naughty at school, like if you get in trouble, the principal's gonna shoot you." <laughs> you believe that? That is I, wild. I did when I was five. Did you keep in line? Uh, for a time, I definitely did, was a troublemaker in school, so I must have realized it was bullshit at some point. There was some point where you realized. I it. can't yes. believe that. That's crazy. <laughs> it's really kind of nuts, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> you didn't want to deal with your shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yeah. That's my that's my dad for sure though. He loves fucking with people like that. I try my best with Theodore because I <clears throat> I think back on stuff like that, and I try my best to be like straight with him about stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want him to one day be like 18 years old and be like look back, right? Be like, why did I think that? Uh, <laughs> Flushing too much toilet paper would uh, cause people in uh, a village in China to explode. Right. Or use any fucking, you know. The toilet paper goes through to China and people starve to death. I feel like parents back then maybe didn't think about kids like that. Like one day they're going to be adults and look back at what they told us. But, but like the way we are with Theodore, I always kind of pretty much think about him as an adult almost. Like I, I don't make up stuff. stuff. Like I don't tell him don't do this because the house will fall apart yeah, yeah <laughs> i don't totally. know i made a whole list here that one's really good this one's not someone so much uh oh this one's a funny light one i'll start with i was probably 16 years old when i discovered and don't judge me i was in advanced english classes you know i studied i was a good student i found out that whole like a hole in the ground and hole, like the whole thing, was different words. Like just spelled differently? I thought it was the same word. <laughs> spelled the same, the same word. Hole and hole. And I was like, they're like, no, it's spelled, they're like, hole <laughs> is spelled. I was like, the whole thing is this. And I spelled it H O L E. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, no, no. I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, no. That's a hole. It's a hole. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Right, you were picked out, right. oh, yeah. <laughs> like a hole in the ground. So the hole is everything in the hole. I felt pretty dumb about that. <laughs> <laughs> I had this weird thing when I was a kid. I would do this to myself, I don't know why. I would torture myself, I would go, okay, if I don't go to the bathroom and brush my teeth fast enough, the boogeyman, there's a boogeyman in the closet and he's gonna kill me in my sleep. What? Did anyone ever do anything yeah. like that? I feel like, yeah, that's a yeah. common one I feel like. Yeah. Really? You know what that reminds me of? See, where did that come to you? Is it from your parents? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't blame them for that one. There was a, weird. there was an ad when I was really young and it was a political ad. And I, I'm gonna describe this as I understand it now. It was a political ad about how, um, you know, their opponent was uh, throwing throwing people to the wolves and the wolves are at the door and in this political ad they were showing like stock footage of like wolves stalking through like a snowy forest or whatever and I remember seeing it on TV when I was a kid 
and I didn't understand the context that this was like a metaphor. Mm. And I fully believed that there were just <laughs> packs of wolves outside <laughs> that mm. could just smash through my window at any time and like just That's tear funny. me out of bed and carry me away. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> I found it because I remembered that and I found <laughs> the commercial years later. I'm like, yeah, this was, it was just like some stupid ass politician's ad. That's the one I remember the most though, the boogeyman thing. I'd be like, if I don't uh, do this, if I don't uh, clean up the, my, put my clothes in the hamper real fast. It's usually when I'm going to bed though. And get in bed, the book, there's a fucking murder under my bed who's going to come out and chop my head off when I'm sleeping. I just really cruise some weird shit. <laughs> So I'm not alone on that, eh? No. That's good. I kind of wonder if it started with Bloody Mary. Like Weird, I never Bloody Mary. never had that. What's Bloody Mary? Oh, that fucked me up as a kid, dude. <laughs> a movie? No, it's like, uh... It's a game. It's a stupid game. Oh, well, you just say Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary? Into a mirror. Oh, yeah. yeah, that shit's fucked. Yeah. You say, apparently they go, it's like a ghost spook story, and you go, if you say... Turn around three times and say Bloody Mary. A ghost is going to appear you'll in see, the mirror. Yeah, you'll see Bloody Mary's reflection in the mirror. <laughs> I was, there was one time I got fucked with so hard with that. They locked me in the bathroom oh. and turned the lights off. And I was oh like my in God. second grade. It was horrible. That explains a lot. <laughs> Dude, I, I fucked up. What do you want from me? You know? <laughs> Your Joker brain. That maybe is where it all began. He's damaged. <laughs> I'm damaged good, but you got to take me for what I am. Beautiful. And I do. And I love you. I love you too. But that could have been the moment the Joker was born. You're right. Yeah. Um. This one, you know, my mom has really nice skin and I wish I learned more about hygiene at a young age. Because growing up, whenever my skin was, you know you always have oily skin. Yeah. I'm, always. You know. At that age. And every time my skin felt oily, I would wash my face. Right, me too. Oh, you did that? I mean, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would bring soap with me to school and wash my oh. face in the back. <laughs> and my, my face would just get so fucking dry and oily as a result. And I just, I would wash my face. I'd go to a friend's house and wash my face. It was like fucking horrible. No, I wish somebody told me, just put on moisturizer, idiot. Just put it on and your right. face won't get oily. Because it gets dry. I wish someone would have told me that at a younger age. I don't know if our parents even knew that stuff, though. Moisturize? Moisturize? I don't know that they that knew a new that thing? the oily skin, like, it's kind of counterintuitive, but God. you actually need to moisturize. It's horrible, just thinking back. And I was using, like, really hard face washes, too. Like, Me really too. ones with, like, scrubbing. Yeah. Bits in it and well, just Well that also <sighs> reminds me, I always thought that like to get a really good brush, I brushed really hard. Right. Yeah. And it's your gums kind of the are same thing up. and my gums are fucked up. I believe that uh the any sex resulted in a baby automatically. Oh. <laughs> I may have told the story but once I heard my, the one time I heard my parents having sex I don't remember what Age I was probably about five or six or seven. I don't know, but I just I heard some moaning, and I immediately, excitedly got up and went to my brother's room. <laughs> it was like five in the morning, oh, and, and I woke him up and I was like, "Sean, there's great news. I'm gonna I'm gonna be an older brother." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And I, he was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Mom and Dad are." He's like, that's, that's so not funny. how it works, dude. <laughs> and I was actually so disappointed. Oh. I was so happy. I was like, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have another. <laughs> I'm gonna be an older brother. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the baby anymore. That I remember. And one more. My brother used to fuck with me. He would used to tell me shit when I was really young, like, if to wipe your ass, you need to put as much toilet paper as you can on your hand. That's the proper way to wipe your ass, just to fuck with me and get me in trouble. And I started doing that like a whole hand mitten, like a fucking half a roll of toilet paper. I was like, that doesn't make much sense. And I would clog in all the toilets and shit. So, Why did I do that? Just to fuck, just to get me in trouble. That's it, that's all I have, nothing really good. 
your sex one reminded me last night when we said we were going to do this as a discussion topic. I was racking my brain. I couldn't. I hadn't thought of the principal thing yet. And so I asked Allie, my girlfriend, um, or I just told her. I was like, "We're doing this thing tomorrow. I can't think of anything." And like immediately, immediately she came back with, "Oh well, when I was like six years old, I thought the way the babies were made is that like." the mom and the dad, they went to the doctor's office and they would both have a Dixie cup and they would spit into it and fill it up <laughs> with spit and then they'd exchange it and drink each other's spit. Ew, what? And I was like, what? <laughs> Where what? would you even learn that? And that's what I asked. And she's like, I have no, nobody told me that. Like that was just, I just came to that <laughs> conclusion uh, when wow. I was like six years old that that's, that's where gnarly. babies came I've from. never heard that. <laughs> no, it's a new one for me too. <laughs> that's gnarly. <laughs> Um, I Hila, guess, you want to go? So for me, the first thing that came to my mind as soon as you guys said that was like, God, because like it would be so stupid. And sometimes as an adult, I think back about it and I'm like, wow, I was kind of crazy. Like you, you kind of, I would talk to myself like you, for example, not supposed to eat dairy after eating meat. And some people will wait six hours, some people will wait three hours, some people are kind of like blurry about it. And my family was always kind of blurry about like what you're, how much to wait. And so I would really want to eat like a chocolate or something after dinner, for example. And so I would kind of be like, okay, I waited 30 minutes and then I'll eat it and I'll be like, okay, God, like, just let this one go by. I'll be. Right. I won't do that ever again. I promise. Like that's it. You felt really guilty. Yeah, and I'd talk to God. Like, just let this. One give go. me this one, and th but it would happen on different occasions. I think that's very common for religious kids. Right. I think they do that all it's, the time. It's actually kind of fuck up, fucked up to kids. It's so fucked up. To it's too much for kids to deal with this idea yeah. of this God that they have. To that's always it. watching and Eggs hearing for, everything yeah. and knowing everything. It's a bit much. Mm -hmm. But I think I think I think that's probably very common for for kids religious houses. Probably. But it seems like he forgave you if he is there. <laughs> he overlooked that. I think he's not there. That's my conclusion. Based but... on the fact that he never punished you for the <laughs> <Yeah>. chocolates. <laughs> <sighs> um, that's a good one. Maybe you're nodding yes, you had that same kind of thing. Oh, yeah, Begging definitely. for forgiveness, definitely. please, God. I just what was say, the most trivial thing you'd beg God for forgiveness for? I would just always say, God, please let my family go to hell when I was a kid. <laughs> oh my God, that's <laughs> so funny. Because I was mixed and my aunts would always like tease me about being half white and my mom being uh, American and I was really close to my, my grandma and my mom's side, so I'd say, please, don't let them go to hell, come on, <laughs> give me a break. Please, God. Why, because you're half white? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Well, just because they're not Muslim, they're Christian. Oh, because your mom's not Muslim? Well, my, my mom converted, but like my grandmother, who was my favorite person in the world, was you, Christian. You, yeah. Oh, you don't want her to go yeah. to hell. <laughs> Fair enough. Who hasn't, uh, 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 Avery, you want to do yours? Yeah, so, uh, one that I used to do, it's pretty embarrassing, is when I was a kid, I was trying to trace where it came from. I kind of think it may have been from the movie Hook, which was like a 1993 film with Rob Williams. Yeah, about Great Peter one. Pan. Hmm. I used to try to fly all the time. I would always just like, I'd wait till like the adults left the room and I'd get up on something high like the couch or the counter and try to think of some, like try to focus hard enough or maybe think of a happy thought and I'd try yeah, to happy fly. Thoughts, right? yeah. yeah, and I, I always fall and bust my ass. <laughs> I remember my grandmother, my Arabic grandmother, always saying something in Arabic that translates to like, only time will tell. Like. I think only time will tell, like if he's if he's fucked up or something. Like every time I do, oh, they used to say that about <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah, and good. um, yeah, I was telling Lena, it's crazy, but I was telling Lena this story yesterday, and she's like, oh, maybe that's why you always do that thing in college, at parties when you'd get really fucked up and throw yourself down the stairs. And I totally forgot about that for some reason. In college, I thought this was the funny shit ever was to get messed up and just throw myself from the top of the stairs, <laughs> down at a party and scare the shit out of everyone downstairs. And I do like a little roll at the bottom, and everyone would crack up. But I'd wake up always the next morning, being bruised on both my, uh, both my shoulders. So yeah, maybe that is where it's from. Why? Because you, you, you thinking that you'll fly? I mean, I, no, it's, not that I thought I would fly when I was older, but just I was used to throwing myself off of something. So it was just <laughs> interesting. Doing the talent you had yeah, developed. Yeah, talent. Doing yeah. entertainment. That's a shame that uh, 
as a kid, you can't fly and do all this cool stuff that looks awesome. It's Iron fucked Day. up. It's just not fair. You know what? That reminds me of... This doesn't quite qualify because I don't, I don't think I ever fully believe this, but it was one of those things that, like, as a kid, you're like, but maybe I should try. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the Animorphs books when we yeah. were kids? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I love those covers. I thought that was so fucking cool that you could, like, absorb the DNA of an animal mm. and oh. then you could morph into <laughs> one. And, like, at night, a like, cat would jump into my bed or something. I'd be like, all right, let me see if I can do this. And, like, put my hand on my cat and, like, concentrate really, like, I'm going to absorb the DNA so I can turn into a cat. Never worked. Yeah. It's almost Never like uh, shifting. You were doing right. I was trying to shift. Yeah. I was trying yeah. to shift. You were in bed with your cat. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a shift. Like, again, I don't think I actually believed it, but I wanted it to yeah. be real so bad that it was like, let's just give it a shot. Let's just let's just jump right into let's, it. Let's just see where this leads us. Yeah, it's crazy now that, like, my nieces have no idea what Animorphs are. I'm like, dude, at the book fair, those were like... You would never buy the books, at least I wouldn't. I just always just look at the covers because they were always so interesting. Covers are sick so and sick. hilariously bad when yeah, you look at so it now. Yeah, so bad. <laughs> so stupid looking. I mean, here, I'll show you some. Yeah, the art is actually just so bad now when you look at it. I don't know if you've seen these, Ela. Look at this. It's dumb. No. Cow? <laughs> a snake? Look at this shit. Yeah. <laughs> look at this one. Wow. <laughs> those what? are dope, dude. Zach, you these rule. Look I, at this. This must have been a little before my time. I the concept these. is dope as hell. I was really young when I read these. Yeah, I read these in like second or third grade, so. The concept <laughs> is dope as hell, but like that art is fucking hilarious. <laughs> And this was the cover of all of them, was just a kid. It was one of the, the five teens that were like the protagonists in it. Look you know. at this. A beaver? Hell yeah. You're going to transform into a beaver? <laughs> of all the animals? I mean, this could turn into a fly. That's cooler than a beaver, maybe. Were they scholastic books? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Grizzly bears is legit transformation. <laughs> I can't say that... Wait, he transformed from a hawk to an ant? To an alien. That was the kid that got trapped as a hawk because the rules, the rule, this is some deep Animorphs lore I'm about to drop on you, but if you stayed, you could morph into any animal that you absorb the DNA of, but if you stayed in that form for too long, I forget, it was like a couple hours or something, you get stuck, and one of the main characters gets stuck as a hawk. Holy shit. So his, like, base form is just like a bird from now on. Those books were, like, actually kind of fucking twisted. You're the only person kids. I know who ever read them. I never read one. I never, never read a single read one, no. I read them when I was a I kid. used to read Goosebumps. That was oh, Goosebumps, yeah. Goosebumps was the shit. Goosebumps was the shit. I had a whole collection of the Goosebumps. I remember I like seeing Goosebumps those at the too, yeah. library. Like, I remember the covers of the so Goosebumps. So dope. Had the bumpy cover. That was, like, genius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always just loved the covers. I don't think I ever read them. What in the fuck is this? Oh, it's a lizard. I thought, oh, God. <laughs> what? Here's you, Dan. This was you. I know. I was trying. <laughs> I was trying. Didn't work out for me. Man, there's just a lot of these. Yeah, they continue forever. What? A starfish? <laughs> oh, my God. Why would you want to be a starfish? Oh like a bad ass. <laughs> there was usually some, like, you know, plot motivation for what one What could a starfish thing. do? I, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know why it the starfish was It just sits necessary. there inertly, basically. Yeah. Trump turning into a halo? <laughs> Where'd it go? But there's some really funny ones. Like, I remember the Agit, Agit Pie Animorph meme. Oh, yeah. Remember that fucking asshole? I remember him. I don't know what's the Animorph. <laughs> Here, it turned, he turns into a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've seen this meme. I didn't know that it's about Isn't that awesome? Post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some really good memes here, like, uh... Oh, somebody <laughs> said Animorphs definitely made a lot of furries. That's interesting. Uh, oh, okay. Hmm. Here's, uh... Oh, well, that's just... That's rude. <laughs> Someone turns into the red M&M. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> but yeah, this is my favorite one. Yeah. Guy's such a fucking asshole. <laughs> what a piece of shit he is. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I don't get this one. Trump turning into Master Chief. What? No, he's turning into a, a clam. clam. Oh, I thought it was Master Chief's helmet. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> See, that, that didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> but what's the clam? <laughs> I don't, well, the clam doesn't make more sense either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Duck turning into a lizard. Yeah, so you get the idea. Felix? What'd you see? Uh, Felix uh, turning into duck. <laughs> Felix? No. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotcha. So, uh, and who's next? Who I'll got go, one? I'll go. Alrighty. Um, so this, um, this happened when I was in like fourth grade. Brother comes in my room. He's, he's four years younger than me. Mm -hmm. Comes in my room and he's carrying a Trojan condom and a vibrating penis dildo. A vibrating penis dildo. Mm -hmm. Zach's bro brother is younger for context. <laughs> younger. And at the time, I didn't know what it was. You know, I don't, I don't know what. what How old were you? I was in fourth grade. Okay, so you're both very, very young. Very young. And he comes in my room and he's like, you know, he's a little Zach. <laughs> what is this? And I'm like, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go ask mom and dad. Oh shit. So <laughs> we go downstairs together, holding this pretty decent sized vibrating dildo and a condom out of the wrapper or in the wrapper in the wrapper okay. and i remember it was red and that's a red that's interesting a key, that's key, that's key point, exotic key point of the story right now <laughs> yeah, red condom is not common so we we go downstairs and my mom's jaw drops <laughs> and we're asking you know we're we don't know what the fuck this is and we're asking like what is this my dad's like, well, the thing you're holding, the red thing, is Tylenol. Okay, interesting. Good, good. <laughs> and he, he didn't say anything about the dildo. <laughs> it was just <laughs> the red condom. So from, I don't know, fourth grade till about, shit, seventh grade, I thought Tylenol and condoms were the same thing. Whoa, <laughs> that's good. So how, how did that impact funny. your life? Not well. Not, I mean, I, but at that age, you don't, you didn't know what was going on. You didn't know what a, what a dildo was, you know, or a condom yet. But was there a, ever a time you asked for like a, a explanation? You, you got confused between Tylenol and condom? No, because I, I you know, I figured out before I, I right. started using condoms, you know. So uh, that's pretty good. You ever talked to your parents about it <laughs> since then? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm gonna have to though after this. There you have it. Yeah. It was Discovering crazy. that your parents have sex is is, is traumatic. <laughs> with a toy too. I mean, I told that story with my mom when I found I found a dildo next to her bed that's like was the size of the fucking. You did. Um, but we did families. I did it right uh, next to her. I swear to thing that thing was like. <laughs> Bro, it was like the size of my arm. I swear to God. Bro. And I, you know, that's a lot to deal with <laughs> as a kid. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just fucking insane. Even as an adult. <laughs> yeah, I remember that dildo. I mean, it was fucking massive, dude. Just totally out of. The problem, and the thing is, they didn't even hide it that well. That's what they could have protected me. Yeah. That's how I feel, too. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I don't need to live with that memory. <laughs> I, re I remember the dildo so vividly and the condom. It's so vivid. It's just trapped in my mind. <laughs> yeah. But at least it seemed like it was like human size, not like horse size. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was one of those dildos that had the clitoral stimulation on it, too. So. Okay. Yeah. So you learned so that you. In retrospect, you're learning a lot about what you saw. Correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There you have it. Condoms are Tylenol, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Ian, you got you got to have something good for us. Uh, I mean, I was a smart kid. I didn't <laughs> believe anything stupid. No, that's not true. Um... There was this girl in my uh, first grade class. I had to sit next to her. Her name was McKenna, and she was always messing with me. 
uh, that Bloody Mary thing, she she told me about that, and she would actually like take a paper clip and she would scratch up her arms. Oh my god! And I didn't realize that was what has, what was happening until later, but she would be like, "I did the Bloody Mary thing again last night," and I was so scared. Nasty! What? Yeah, the, uh... she would have like cuts all over her arms. <laughs> um, it's dedication. Yeah. You know, method. The Jared Leto type yeah. of acting. <laughs> um, but one thing she told me that is so stupid. I was such an idiot. She told me that um, w- if you ever go to Legoland, <laughs> when you the moment you set foot in the park, you turn into like a big Lego man. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, whoa, that's <laughs> so sick. How do they even do that? And she's like, they have like the most advanced technology it's crazy like disneyland (laughs) can't catch up it's so good and i was like begging my parents to go to legoland i wanted to go so bad and they took me eventually and i i was like right at the entrance i was like here we go and i stepped in and i was like this place fucking sucks i was so (laughs) upset and then i was like I was grumpy the whole day. I was so wow, disappointed. She wow. really got you. Yeah. The park, there's like nothing there. It's, well, how old it, were you when yeah, you went? How old? Uh, probably like second grade ish. Oh, so. way too old, yeah. I feel like. Because we take Theodore uh, since he's like two. And <laughs> yeah. He loves it. <laughs> yeah, Theodore loves it, but <laughs> I feel like five max for that. <laughs> I didn't even, are there, you went recently, right? Are there, yeah. There's are there rides. like rides Not, and stuff? Or I don't remember. Doing rides, just stuff to look at. The rides it's are pretty bad. For like two year olds, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Like a little train ride. Or... A little boat ride. It's all really, really, really low end shit. And you're a human. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't human. transform. There's no metamorphosis. <laughs> so did you hit her up when you came back? Yeah, I was like, I was like, what the hell? Like I went to Legoland, there was nothing, <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> and she was like. Oh, they must have changed it. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's bullshit. You guys that's a sneaky... I should, that's I should a, find yeah, her and write her a message sneaky. now. She's a sneaky little trickster. Yeah. Yeah. Messing with you. She got me good. She could tell I was a rube. So, easy mark. Wow. <laughs> oh, Sam, you got one? I was waiting for permission from my mom, but she's not texting me back. Really? You need permission yeah. for this one? Yeah, but I'm just going to tell it anyway. Yay. (laughs) So one day I was in my parents' bathroom, and I don't remember what I was looking for, but I opened a drawer and I found some lube. And I asked my mom, I was like, what is this? And she was like, it's lotion. (laughs) And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So for months after that i would go into their bathroom and use their bathroom and wash my hands and i would like put a dab oh of my oh my lotion <laughs> on my hands oh and shit. i would just i was always like oh this lotion sucks <laughs> <laughs> and then oh i think i told my mom about it one day like this lotion doesn't smell very good and she was like what are you talking about and i showed her and she was like oh oh no. she was like that's that's our lotion. Don't don't use our lotion. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh that's my very god. funny. Kids are so Terrible. funny how they remember yeah. stuff like that. Like Theodore would totally do that. You tell him one thing, he's coming back to mm-hmm. use it that way. For sure. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> Nasty too. <laughs> Cause you know her hands were like had like sex shit on it when she touched. The bottle. I'm just saying. You know. She... Just saying. <laughs> you didn't think, think I thought about that in retrospect when I picked up my mom's massive fucking dildo? Stop. Horrific. I know. I'm just saying. Same part for me, trauma. too. Like, yeah, it's part know. of the trauma. <laughs> I can't wash it off my hands now, still. <laughs> Been washing my hands ever since that. Touch that thing, man. Um, Cam, Lena. Yeah, I I got one. Can okay. I come over there to yeah. talk? Just as easier to chat over there. We would come love to down. see you. Come on, Cam, Camily, 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 Camily. Stop! Stop! 
Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? All right, cool. Uh, so similar to Ian, I had a, a girl that used to mess with me like in elementary school. And this is a story that I believed up until maybe one or two months ago. Well, let me just adjust. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, okay. I mean, because it's so grounded in potentially reality, I guess, and I, just, I w wouldn't have any other way of knowing. But uh, sh this girl in like first, second, third grade, whatever, told me that all girls' bathrooms had uh, couches in them. Oh, interesting. I've heard that before. You have? Okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah. yeah. So is, th is this grounded in reality? And like, I, No, and, hell no. Okay, because I was talking to... <laughs> I was talking to a girl like a couple months ago, and I told her that, and she thought she told me I was put on, and all these years, I thought I had something similar where they they convinced me that there's like sofas and vases and yeah. flowers. And, well, so here's the thing, and then I, I brought yeah. this up this morning, and AB made me reconsider <laughs> if it was even fake because he said in an episode of The Office they go into the, the all the guys hang out in the girls' bathroom, and it's a similar setup to what you just described. So. I'm starting to wonder, is, like, what, have I been double lied to? Is there couches in the girls' bathrooms now? I don't. I think it's a meme. It's I a think meme? it's an ongoing. Guy. Okay, yeah. Well, I... that can't be. Well, the the truth is that the women's bathroom is more fucked than the guys' bathroom. It's well, horrific in there, man. In my mind, I was like, oh, they don't have urinals, so they exactly. Just, they, they it's nice. Like, you know, they need a spot to hang out, and there's less space in there. So I don't, I don't know, but you know, mm. I'm that's, still not convinced. That's how they trick you, because you go, oh, women are nice, they're respectful, they're considerate. Their bathroom's not going to be a dump. No, you go in there and it's fucked up. Well, I've mm -hmm. never been in one, so I, you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm on the edge. I, I you got to go in there. Couches in there. I'm you got to take a look. Some, I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat say that some do. Yeah. See? What? what? Hell no! Yeah. Stop no, it, you guys! It's real. Don't fuck don't with poor Cam. It's not us, real. But... Come on. I... Wait, Ela's saying it's not real. Lena, Sam, what, what's going on here? There's I, no couches in women's bathroom. What the hell are you talking about? I've noticed if you go to like the mall, they always say like women's lounge or whatever, and there are like couches. It's like a little seating area. Really? Yeah. Like at Nordstrom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. What? Well, so there's a nugget of truth to it. Okay, I don't a little know, bit. What yeah. is that? Yeah. What do you need a couch for? Yeah. Hanging out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hanging out in the bathroom. Lena, you buy you are you buy Some all that? Blasting ass. Same in the as stall? what Sam said. Like if you just at the mall or something, there's usually a couch in the bathrooms there, but it's not like every bathroom. I've never even heard of that before. Well, well, if if there's a couch at Nordstrom's, or can we really? Yeah, I wouldn't count that as like what you, what Cam is talking about. People want to pull. Well, it, it was my perspective that like every woman's bathroom yeah. much, no. like, is bomb. In nice. elementary school, in like no. yeah, high school, all that. You know, stores everywhere. No Maybe way. Like moms and People kids, say it's perhaps? breastfeeding. Yeah, I see that. Breastfeeding? That, yeah, I mean, that, that would that be nice. Sense. Yeah. That's that's nice. But yeah, I think there still might be couches in the bathrooms. I think it just might be a secret society. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Would, Everybody's you know. saying maternity breastfeeding. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. But, but we're talking about like nice places, right? Not like every... Yeah, it's not common. I mean, I've accidentally walked into a women's bathroom and then I go... And I see all stalls and no urinals. And then I panic and I go, oh fuck. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> All right. But you so guys can't say. You guys can't say. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm actually a genius after all. Thank you very much. <laughs> but you, got, you guys can't say every bathroom has a couch. Stop that. Stop the madness. I worked at Nordstrom, and there are couches and flowers in there. Well, there oh go. my god. Okay, but you're talking about Nordstrom. Yeah. Churches People are saying it's pretty them. common. What? There you go. So they, you, they, you know, fresh and fit, we're onto something. Yeah. Fucking male, female oh privilege. I don't see You're it. Where right. do you see it? I see people saying only if it's like a nice place, fancy place. Not a, not a public elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. All right, do a poll. Does every bathroom, does every woman's bathroom have a couch, a vase, and fly, fresh flowers? Every single one. I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously no not. That. Watch, let's see. The women, I'm telling you. Secret society. It is. That's what the Chamber of Secrets actually is. Referring <laughs> to. 100% yes, right now. So, Cam, okay, 80% no. 20% say yes. 20. All men, in fact. One in five women <laughs> admit. There are, in fact. So I think you've got bamboozled, Cam. Yeah. 
slightly bamboozled. You know, I, I, I will never know, I guess, but... I, I, you may you know, know, you, you may know. know, you will know one day. I'm so confused. My whole life has been a lie, and then just this morning it got, you know, flipped back around, so I'm not sure. Right. You know? But wait, you've never accidentally walked into the women's bathroom? Um, okay, so when I worked at Adult Swim, uh, me and... We, we would work late nights a lot, and so it was just, you know, the empty... The building was very empty at that time, and me and uh, my friend Christina, she was like, hey, you want to see the girls' bathroom? And just, like, you know, because it was different there. And I was like, sure. And, uh, and I remember noting, like, hmm, there's no, there's no couches in here. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That's awesome. <laughs> this but, is odd. But it, was, no. but it was a better bathroom than the men's bathroom, too, so I did note that as well. That's funny. Where are the couches? All right, Somebody nice, Cam. $50 Thank that you. my university had one in their IT building. That's not, that's not very fancy. I mean, unless they were fucking... Had what in the IT building? A, a couch in the women's bathroom. At a university. It's not just North. It can't be in the bath. The bathroom is gross. It's got to be out of the bathroom in, like, a lounge area. No? Yeah. Because the Seems bathroom, be there's water, yeah, no, there's shit. not in the bath. Definitely not. That's gross. Mm -hmm. Upholstered couch, soaking up all those odors. Hi, Lena. Hi. You got a good one? Um, I think so. <laughs> so, I guess it's sort of an Arab superstition, but um, when I was younger, I was told that whenever a bride, when you're at a wedding and you first see the bride enter for the first time, you have to say Smallah or Mashallah, which is like a way to keep the evil eye away. Um, otherwise, it's going to bring like really bad luck to her. And the story was that um, the mother of a bride at some wedding, she was so concerned with telling everyone um, to say smalla that she forgot to do it herself. And so um, the next day, the bride went blind. So, oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! That's this is like a story, or this happened? A tall tale. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the mom, the mom was so concerned with everyone saying it that she forgot. Yeah. And then the, okay. Yeah. Wow. And I was young when this happened, so <laughs> when. It, I, and I think I was like early middle school when my sister was getting married and when she was first coming in for the first time I was like looking around and like making sure everyone's gonna say it. I just had really bad anxiety about it <laughs> that something was gonna happen to my oh, sister wow. and someone would forget Oh my god <laughs> There are that so many crazy. ridiculous ones Do you have any other ones about I mean I was told once that if you have sh shrimp and orange juice, you're gonna die if you eat them at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Lena, were you like going up to people and making sure they said it? Or were no. you just sitting there super stressed out? Yeah, I was too shy to do that, but um, just, yeah, just super stressed out and like looking <laughs> around and it made me really nervous for her. And, and the next day, were you waiting for her to go blind or something? Or did you forget about it already? I think I forgot about it. <laughs> or maybe yeah. I talked to my mom about it and she told me that wasn't true or something like that. <laughs> Serious business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she's okay. Your sister. She's okay. No blindness. Yeah. She's, she's Inshallah. Okay. She's all right. She Inshallah, right? right? Or would you? Inshallah. She what? what, what? Oh, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. But for Arab kids in general, like, I feel like we all have this sort of, like, anxiety that something bad is going to happen. Like, mm -hmm. we were at a lake one day, and my niece, who was six at the time, just randomly said, looking around, she's like, I never came here today. Yeah, she's like, I have a bad feeling about today. She's like, I not have come here today. <laughs> what the <laughs> like, heck? What are you talking about? And she's like, I don't know, I just have a very bad feeling. Oh, oh my God. That's it's because Arabic is such a dramatic language that when it's translated, it comes mm. out so bad. So, like, Lena always told me the story of when her mom walked downstairs once when they were watching a scary movie, they were up late. What'd she tell you? She, Oh, yeah, just because we were staying up late and it's not good, you know, we need sleep. But yeah, she's like, eh, like uh, got, hopefully you guys get sick and die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. You were up too late and she said, I hope you get sick and die? Yeah, like that's what you get for, for not sleeping. Oh, she goes, you guys mm -hmm. stay up, but she hoping for it. <laughs> And then in translation, that's what it is. Well, yeah. Translation but it's like, <laughs> does it does it means kind of like if you guys get sick and die, it's the result of you staying sort up Sort of, late. yeah. It, it doesn't translate very well. Oh, that's that's so all. Funny. But like awesome. Amy said, Arabic is just a very dramatic language. <laughs> I hope you get sick and die. <laughs> it's funny because now that they're all adults, her and her siblings, they all like start to think about these different phrases they heard growing up. Like, holy shit, have you ever thought about what the translation yeah. means? Yeah. 
like their mom will always say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you so hard you're going to fly across the room and hit the, <laughs> hit the wall or something. But yeah, it's always dramatic. Oh, my God. Um, damn, that's brutal. That's dramatic. Do you feel like that was like, did you take, you didn't take it seriously when she said that? Or was it, were you kind of shocked? Or is it normal? No, normal. Yeah. yeah, like Abby said, we didn't really think of the translation. That was just like her saying, <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> you get sick and die. That, yeah. Whoa. There you go. That's pretty grim. <laughs> <laughs> and did you ever figure out why your niece was feeling so, so, uh... <laughs> Do me that day? No. Well, I mean, we were asking her, maybe something happened or... But no. She just had a bad feeling, I guess. Mm, got a bad feeling about today, guys. <laughs> Inshallah. In, in, Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah for everything. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What's the difference from Inshallah? Inshallah means uh, God willing. Yeah. And alhamdulillah means like thank God. Oh. For everything. Alhamdulillah. I, am I saying it right? Hamdillah. Oh, hamdillah. Yeah. You're adding like four extra uh -huh. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Zach, Hamdillah. Zach says hamdillah. Because Ham, I'm used hamdillah. to Hebrew. I'm like hamdillah. You know? Hamdillah. <laughs> hamdillah. This is what Eva's dad used to do when you, 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 you go hamdillah. No, you wouldn't say it. Oh, you mean like... No, not, but this is the movement. Alhamdulillah. It kind of goes for like a lot of stuff. It's like, yeah. it's like a, what can you do? Kind of thing. There you go. Very good. Anyone else? We have love. Oh, love. What do you got for us? Uh, I guess my story is a little bit mid. Maybe not that good as Saks, for example. Uh, but... As a kid, I used to have this like really, when I'm re reflecting back at it, really obsessive like OCD thoughts. Mm. Uh, may maybe a little bit like you, Ethan, that like, you felt like you had to do something, like clean your face. Uh, and I had to like, every time I went to the bathroom, I had to tap this specific spot on the wall. Mm. Uh, that, that's basically just an introduction, but I thought in every pool of water, no matter how small, that there would be a shark that would eat me. <laughs> um, could be like a kid pool, or not a kid pool, but like any water where I could not touch the button, I guess. Uh, and uh, I always had this in my mind. And uh, so I, randomly, sometimes if I felt something on my foot, I had to get out of the water because I thought it was a, was a shark. And well, one day when I kind of grew up, uh, my dad told me, he, he knew I was scared of sharks. Uh, so he told me, there, there's no sharks in like Swedish waters. And I said, oh, okay. Uh, and I asked, is there anything else? N is there nothing that can like hurt me? And he said, oh, there's this one fish, but that exists in Swedish waters. And from like then on, I was just scared of this fish instead. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what it's called in English, but uh, it's basically just a tiny, like meat-eating fish, super tiny. Like but a I was still like, no, Piranha. it's called Yedda, Yedda in Sweden, Swedish. I don't know, but it's basically like a, this long fish that eats other fish. Mm -hmm. But I was like scared <laughs> so badly of anything like that. I had that paranoia too about sharks and swimming pools. I, it's like so stupid and weird, but I used yeah. to also be scared of sharks and swimming pools. I actually found a picture of the fish that I think he's talking about. <laughs> Oh, those are scary. Those are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But yeah, reflecting back at some of the things I did when I was a kid, I probably had like bad OCD. I don't want to like diagnose myself or anything like that. Yeah, but I know what you like, mean. Like horrible OCD, like tapping the wall before going to the bathroom, tapping the roof before I go out of my bedroom. I still have some of those tendencies, but way less. You know what, love? I had the shark thing too. Oh yeah? I was the same way. No matter where, I would think sharks were coming towards me. Yep. I think we That's do those cool. things to comfort ourselves. Uh, being a kid is stressful. Yeah, yeah. But you know, that reminds me, did you guys ever hear the story of, when you're in the pool, of some kid that got stuck to the pool drain and drowned? Yeah. That doesn't happen, does it? Yeah, it does. No, that's real. That scared the shit out of me. The pump? It's like incredibly strong. Really? 
But how do you get stuck to the point it's usually where usually like, like a kids? particle of your clothing gets sucked into it. Uh, or like if, if uh, you have long hair, your hair gets sucked into it or something. I believe more modern pools, if there's multiple of those uh, pumps, like if there's more than one of them, it'll like automatically balance it so that that can't happen. But no, that, would, that is uh, a real thing that, you know, kids have drowned because they get stuck at the bottom of the pool. I'm, I'm reading up, I'm gonna see how many, how many times this actually happened. Air caught in the drain. You can get disemboweled if it sucks your asshole out of your ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the what are wait. you reading? It says, <laughs> it says there are many hazards associated with swimming pool drains. The swimming pool pump suction has risks including hair getting caught in the drain. Yeah. yeah. And then quote suction and disembowelment. I saw in the news once when I was a kid a guy <laughs> stuck his thing inside a jacuzzi drain. And he got stuck there, yeah. That I believe. Yeah. That I have no trouble believing. <laughs> Disembowelment, though. It can That's suck wild. your Holy ass shit. out. N new fear unlocked. <laughs> well, just don't put your ass over the fucking pool drain. Sheesh. Why are you uh. thinking about ass? That's it's what it, a disembowelment means. Oh, I mean, specifically. It means your ass? intestines come out of your butthole. Uh. Wait out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did but you guys ever hear growing <laughs> up that? Peeing in a pool will change the color of the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good one. Yeah. They go, we have a special chemical in the pool, so if you pee, it's going to turn bright red and we'll all know. Be real, have you ever been in a pool and not peed? Yes, because I still believe that chemical thing. Wait. Have, have you, you ever been, ever in, a been in a pool and, and not peed? peed? Yeah, every time you go in the pool. Yeah, you guys peed. heard that right. Yeah. Like, be real here, dog. I mean, one. yeah, I'm being very real. Uh, no, definitely not. But do you, you pee in the pee pool in every pool? time you go in a pool? Yeah, what do you are, Kelly? Well, like every, like a hundred percent of the time you pee in it. Like you hold it to go pee in the pool. <laughs> Bruh. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, if you're in the pool and you gotta piss, you're not gonna get out and like go. No, you do. You yeah, get no, out. I, I you get, get out. Pee, you know? Ah, so like Dan's one of those guys. I'll be honest. I feel like as humans. a grown up, like, yeah, I started doing that. I gotta be honest. Yeah, at my own home, especially in the hot tub, there's not a lot of water in there. I might get out and go pee. Right. But also, like, our, like at this day, if we're out in a pool, I will get out to pee. Yeah, I would, too. But I don't know. I've de but there's like, been times I'll pee in the pool. A, yeah, there was yeah. a long period of time that I probably did pee. Zach kind of just, uh, <laughs> we weren't all there with you that time, this time, Zach. Fair enough. I mean, you expect kids are, oh, hey, Chantel, you hear that? <laughs> Zach pees in every pool he goes in. Yeah, me too. Yeah, she she said it. she believes it. <laughs> That's my man, she said. Proud of you. <laughs> I have a feeling you do too, by the sound of it. <laughs> but, I mean, Zach, like, it depends. Are you at, like, a family's home in their pool? I mean, you don't want to pee in someone's pool that has, like, kids and shit. No, but... Uh, no. <laughs> that wasn't Look, very forceful. That wasn't very convincing. All I'm saying is... I just don't see any logic of getting out of the pool. Well, but so I'll, that, here, here's you know, the logic. The there's, so much your there's so much chlorine in the fucking pool. It's going to kill. Technically, I know it's not bad, but also, I don't want to know that my kids are swimming in my piss. I, but I feel like it, the chlorine kills it. Okay, piss is sterile, so you it doesn't matter. You can swim in a pool of pure piss and be fine. Chlorine's gonna kill the yellow, whatever. It's how I'm rationalizing in my brain. Wait until you have kids and you see them drink the water. <laughs> yeah. In the pool. Fair point. <laughs> Interesting. What do you guys want to pull for? I mean, look, people pee in pools. I know that. <laughs> but do you pee every time you swim? <laughs> not every time. You're going to tell me there's not a single person in here that has, doesn't pee in the pool? No. 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 I have no. done Everybody's it. peed in a pool. I don't think. I haven't. You've never peed in a pool? No! Dan's Why would you do that? Oh, oh I peed in a wow. pool many times. That's so... Many times. Yeah. Many, 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 many times. <laughs> You've never peed in a fucking pool, Dan? No. no. What's I, wrong with you? <laughs> I feel I've, like I'm in the upside down world right now. I, I peed in the pool many, about what's wrong with many, me. many, 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 many times in my life. Dan thought the lifeguard was going to shoot him. Like All right, now, <laughs> now we do need a pool. Okay, so Paul, have you ever peed in a pool? Just yeah. once. Because yeah. apparently that's crazy to Dan, so now that I'm interested. 
Have you ever peed in a pool once? Yes or no? I, it's got to be like 90% it. yes. I can't recall peeing in a pool. Really? I, Holy shit. What the fuck? People are saying I'm lying. What is wrong with you people? What's wrong with you, okay, man? Okay, well, hold on. Let's see. Because I, I, I don't piss like in things that <laughs> so you're swimming around in. I don't want to <laughs> swim around in my own piss. Dan, you're going to be horrified, but 76% yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, Never going in a pool again. <laughs> Never going in a pool Did you not know again. that everyone does that? <laughs> You no. didn't know that everyone pees in the pool? Well, I know that people do do that. No, but like, look, if you're going but, out but like public, everybody. 77%. <laughs> Our audience is deranged. No, that's no, real. It's that's everybody. real. Kids. You could go out in the, in the world and be asked someone, do you, have you ever peed in the pool once? 99% of the time is going to be. Yeah. Asked. Well, 77%. Well, we have two people who have never done it, which shocks me. I've, I've never done it. I, I'm saying really? I'm not recalling it. I'm sure maybe when I was a kid, obviously. Oh, I pee in the, I've peed possible. in the pool many times. Many I'm, times. I'm with Dan, too. I've Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't know. Seventy-seven percent said yes. That's yeah. all I'm saying. You're nasty. But this poll says, <laughs> "Have you ever?" I'm curious yeah. to see if yeah, ever. Like, like, I'm, even not no, no. That's yeah, not not I'm not saying regularly. Yeah, not regularly. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm curious how many regularly pee in a pool. Oh, well, I don't. Like I'm not. Sack. Well, I haven't been. I, I haven't been swimming. I don't care about regularly. Time. That's weird. That's yeah, not those saying, are like weirdos. I'm not that's saying, like making a point. Like when I go in the pool, I pee in it. I'm not <laughs> saying every time I go in a pool, I piss. I'm just that's saying. That's what you right. said. That's no, literally what no, you said. No, 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 no. You I'm said, just saying. That, I think that, he meant it as a. Uh, you didn't mean it literally the first time you said it, right? Right. He, he literally said No, I no, no. I will, I will, I will I think make okay, it all right, a point. Fair enough. Fair I won't enough. make it a point. But, you know, I just, I think it's Do natural. you regularly pee in pools? 75, no. 25% says yes, though. A quarter of people, just every time they're in the pool, they just let it rip. I'm surprised that surprised you. I'm surprised that surprised you. Guys. I'm very yeah. surprised. We're learning things today. 75% of people have peed in pools, my friends. It was actually going up. It was at 77 when you ended it. This is therapy right now. Have you been in pools a lot, then? And everybody that said no? Yeah, I mean, yeah. One, yeah. Okay. at one point, huh? when I was growing up, uh, uh, I, our house had a pool, and oh. I swam all the time. Yeah, everyone was peeing in that. I mean, I well, practicing swimming too, and I never. You think it, it, You know what? That was the house that Andy Dick came and crashed the party at. You think he peed <laughs> he in the pool? Yeah, he for sure. sure he for sure pissed in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> he he was, probably wasn't even in the pool. You want, yeah, you want me to? The you want me to ask yeah. him? He responded to me. You want me to ask? Did you pee in Dan's pool? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was at a public. Did pool you message him, Zach? No yeah, response? I'm at. No, I'm having back and forth with him. No, you're not. No, he responded. Andy Dick? Yeah, he Why didn't you update me? Uh, I, I mean, I didn't... He didn't want him to call in today. Well, I yeah. want to know. What are you guys talking about? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm like... I said, Andy, I work for the H3 Podcast. We want you to call on the show. He said, how? What number do I call? Then he gave me his phone number. Same number you have? Different one. Okay. That's my number. Just call me when you're ready. I'm just sitting here. Then he called me two times via Instagram, FaceTime. I said, not today. You got a new Jimmy Lee. <laughs> exactly. I said, not today. Are you available sometime next week? What do you want to talk about? Whatever's happening this day to me, which is always a lot. Did he talk shit about me? Well, that's no. The, that's the big question. Yeah, no. ask him about he, that. He's being very civil. So no, we, ask him. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Did, was he talking smack about me? That's what sparked the whole thing. Yeah, that's yeah. why we... Yeah. I can't believe you've been chatting them up the whole damn time. And it's only been a few back and forth. We need to start wrapping up the show, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I was about to say, we are... Well, uh, we touched on something really forward. good here, is that <laughs> I'm surprised... I cannot believe y'all. I can't believe you all. <laughs> but you're in the minority. <laughs> of, of our audience. What do you mean, our audience? I don't know. Apparently, there's a certain type. Excuse us. Well, yeah. You're fucking weird, man. <laughs> no, I love our audience. They're right. You're wrong. <laughs> One time I was swimming in a public pool, and there was just, I was, me and my cousins were trying to go see if we could go lower, and I went really close to the ground, and there was a big piece of shit there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I've never yeah. done. I've never oh shit in the God, pool. No, That's never. a no-no. Okay. That's like I've some never shit in the pool. Shit. Never I done it. I've never seen a like pool in a pool. That's <laughs> fucking gross. <laughs> you know what's really fucked? When I was in polo, uh, water polo, uh, in high school, we had to wake up at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., ungodly hours for practice. And I don't know who was doing this, but somebody who was like, I don't want to do practice tomorrow, they would take a shit and throw it in the pool. Come and on. Every time there was a shit in the pool, they had to clean out the water and yeah, cancel, cancel practice. 
Is that what happened? Like many times throughout the year no where someone would way. shit in the pool. <laughs> and then it was always like, yo, there's shit in the pool again. Can't prick practice is canceled. So somebody was shitting in the pool regularly. <laughs> oh man. At my school. Yuck. That's fucking funny. It's kind of genius, too. Yeah, I mean, we were all stoked. We were like, yeah! <laughs> Somebody shit in the pool again. Fucking awesome. It's best day. <laughs> so great. So shout out whoever's doing that. You know who you are. <laughs> was it bleeding, the shit? Was it, like, breeding brown, or was it kind of solid? <sighs> I recall... <laughs> It's so weird how perfectly I could still see it. Yeah, tell me about it. Was, it. No, it, was, it, was looked, it looked like it had algae on it or whatever. What's it, it called? It had been there a minute? Yeah, it looks like it had been there a minute. Uh, I remember I came what? out and... Uh, Isn't I that dangerous I or told, something? I can't remember if I told my mom or I told the lifeguard, oh my but they just cleared this whole fucking pool. And then, like, right oh. after, I like I felt like I was, you know, a good citizen. I was like... I looked around, like, everyone here probably thinks I fucking just shit in the pool. Because <laughs> I just... <laughs> <laughs> that, I bet some people do think that. Yeah, the well, worst I was convinced my cousin did it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The worst is like getting out of the pool when you have to shit because you get on the toilet and it's a fucking slip and slide. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Pretty cool matter. I've never shit in the pool. I can tell you There's that. There's a kind of, kind of like a gross concept to people taking shits and then going back into the pool. Well, you've seen those signs that say, if you've had diarrhea in the last 24 hours, don't go swimming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one goes back when they're there and they've had it. They like see that sign, I'm like, yeah, no one's gonna know. Hell no. <laughs> Let me find one of those diarrhea, swimming, warning, fecal matter. I pooped my pants. <laughs> That's Crowder, right? Eh? No, Al Roker. Oh, I keep thinking that. Yeah. Here it is. Notice, persons... Yeah. Persons having currently active diarrhea, <laughs> or who have had active diarrhea within the previous 14 days? 14 days? 14 pages! <laughs> should not be allowed to enter the pool water? It's 14 pages! <laughs> this, is, this is diarrhea hate. This is, this is, we need <laughs> to advocate for diarrhea people rights. 14, 14 days? days? Meticulously argued document. 14 days of meticulous diarrhea? -ing? It's because the germs it could leave in the water. It could make over 100 million germs, it's saying. Uh, and you only need 10 of those to get sick. 14 days? Are you telling me I stopped diarrheaing two weeks ago and I can't swim? What the fuck does that mean? Human fecal matter. <laughs> that, that, that's outrageous. 14 days. On the regularly poll, it's at 30% yes. Pretty wild. That's pretty high. <laughs> Alright, now let's just do one more for the road. And guys, be honest. Have you ever shit in a pool? Just be mm. honest with us. That's so when are we doing a uh, H3 pool party at your house? <laughs> well, most of y'all are responsible kings, so... Do, do you Zach guys still want to go in our pool? If Zach has, like, a pity pool or no, something. No, I don't pee in our pool. No, I don't pee in our pool. The one that really grossed me out, though, is the hot tub, because there's just not enough water in there to dilute the pee. Like any, public hot tub? Any hot tub. Because you think... I've thought, well, if I'm in the pool, I'd pee, but in the hot tub, that seems really fucking gross. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd agree with you on that one. It's just not <laughs> enough water to make it okay. <laughs> no, plus you got the bubbles. <laughs> not enough to do it. <laughs> just not enough water. Uh, have you ever shit in a pool? 94% uh, no. Uh, no. Okay, uh, good. I'm going to assume the 6% are probably just trolling. 6%? <laughs> that's really high. Well, shout out to all y'all out there. They'd be shitting in pools. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fucking great. Yo, 14 days from having diarrhea? I, I feel like you could remember. You, you, I know. Two weeks. I, you, I feel like you could re you could recover from kidney from getting your kidney removed faster than that. <laughs> On page fourteen, somebody just donated twenty bucks and said all the time. You spent tw twenty bucks to uh, <laughs> say you shit in the pool. Say you shit in the pool. My kind of person, right there. All right. Shout out Ashley who shits in the. Shout out Ashley Constanellos who shits in the pool. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs>
Oh man, that's funny. Pee in the shower? Oh, every time. Always. Pee in the shower? Every time. I've peed in the shower. 100% of the time. I aim for the drain though, so I'm not just like in it. That's the thing with the pool. That's the difference is like you're, you're swimming in the water that you're actively peeing. In. I don't even look where I pee like, in the I shower. I wouldn't pee I in a tub. <laughs> I agree with you. you don't. I mean, you're taking a, a bath. You wouldn't pee. No, I wouldn't pee in the bath. In well, not in it's a not bath. It's not different than peeing in the pool. It's not enough water. Mm. Okay, Ethan, let me ask you. Yeah. When you take a shit and you're planning on taking a shower after, do yeah. you wipe then shower? Yes. Or, or, okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I always wipe. Because I don't want to be dealing with chunks of shit on my ass <laughs> no, with my I hand. You. I feel you. I feel you. But I don't get the feeling you don't do that. No, I do. You do? Okay. Yeah, yeah definitely wipe. Always wipe. I stopped peeing in the shower once I got married. That was one of the really? signs that like I really love Lena because just because I respect that she's like such a clean freak. That oh, I she's a clean real, freak? I feel really bad about it. So wait, what you say? What you say? I peed in the shower before I was married. But now that you I'm stop. married to Lena, we live together right now. You hear that, Lena? Would you be mad if he, if he peed in the shower? No, I do that. <laughs> I'm just there you just go. Kidding. I didn't mind it, but he did tell me that once, and I said that was very thoughtful. Oh, she pees in the shower. Wait till we get home, girl. I'm about to be like the quartering. I'm just gonna piss everywhere. About to now. light that bitch up. <laughs> I just peed in my basement. I'm about to pee in my shower. So, would you say you pee every time, Lena? No, I was just joking about that, but um. Oh, you don't pee in the shower. No, yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't oh, okay. hear that. <laughs> She's doing a little trolling. I thought, I thought you, were doing a little, trolling. you do a little trolling. <laughs> but he has permission to pee in the shower? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. I'm a little hesitant oh, yeah, yeah. with the I guess. <laughs> doing the right thing. Thank yeah, you, it Dan. sounds like Thank she you. appreciates Respect the thought. The Thank but you. I know Ela doesn't pee. We go in there, we shower together, we both pee freely. Oh, you said doesn't pee. No, you pee. Yeah, I'm saying you, you don't care. I don't care. I mean, if you were like, please don't pee in the shower, I wouldn't. But I would probably push back a little bit. Where I was like, <laughs> it's the shower. But you don't care. Um, I'm curious. Would you guys sh uh, pee in the uh, shower if you guys live with your parents? Or is it just because you live with a... I would pee in the shower in any condition, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My ex is the same thing. I go, yeah, yeah, I won't. And then I just piss in the shower and give a shit. That's what I'm saying. I don't care who's lovely. showering after me. I'll pee in that fucker. It's like a habit at this point. It's like part of taking a shower for me it's not the grossest thing being washed off your body let's be honest <laughs> you know <laughs> i just donated two dollars and said my cousin shit on a slip and slide <laughs> oh. <laughs> that just really got me <laughs> oh God. that's wrong this is wrong wait we got to do a poll peeing in the shower because that's got to be like a hundred percent right do all you guys pee in the shower yeah well, yeah. that's why Wait, I, AB said I, yes. <laughs> I look at you and not. I'm having, I'm getting the feeling that <laughs> love is an uh, outlier here. Yeah. Wait, you don't yeah. be in the shower? So that's why I asked about your, if you live with your parents. I kind of feel like I would if I had my own apartment, mm -hmm. but I tend to, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's weird peeing so in the same shower. shower as your dad. I guess that means you don't jerk off in the shower. To pee. Uh, no. <laughs> that's I mean, jerking I mean, off in the shower when you share it with someone, that's a lot. Peeing, eh, I don't see the issue. Eighty-three percent say yes. I just have a habit of going so. before I go into the shower. Yeah, that makes sense. But that is specifically because I live with my dad. You share Otherwise, a bathroom uh, with your dad? Yeah. I we see. don't have two bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah, I told a story about how I had a roommate who jerked off in the shower and got it clogged every time. And I had to look at his fucking nasty splooge every time yeah, I got that's the, awful. That was traumatic, dude. That was so bad, bro. <laughs> and I had to literally get out and be like, dude, listen. I don't want to ever have to have this conversation because it makes me uncomfortable. And I'm sure it makes you uncomfortable. But you've got to stop jerking off in the shower. <laughs> I can't deal with this Wait, anymore. Somebody said it stinks up the shower like pee after. No, it doesn't. What the hell? What are you doing? Where are you peeing? You pee and then the water rinse. Where are you peeing? The water. Pee where the, the water goes. From showering. It's like. Seriously. Come. That's if, funny. if it smells like pee, stop. And also, where are you peeing? That's funny. It's your roommate would do it in the shower. I had a roommate that would steal my fucking socks. No. I swear to God. And I and would jizz I, in your socks? And then he would just like toss them. And I every, like, I'm oh, the most organized shit. person ever. Did he not own his own socks? No, he didn't. Are you sure he didn't have a thing for you? No, nah, he didn't. That's like jerking he, in your he, underwear. He was on drugs. He was on some hardcore drugs. 
our spoons were missing. That too. was basically like stealing your panties, bro. <laughs> Come. Yeah, I know. I was very fucking agitated. I'd be on my way to work, and I was a waiter, and I could not find matching socks. How'd you know ever. he was taking your socks? Because I, f <laughs> I found one in his room, and it was a very distinct sock. I still remember because it had a red bottom because I got it from somewhere else. Anyways, he. I was like, I knew you been stealing my fucking socks, and I was going to go grab him. He goes, you don't want to touch that. Oh. oh. That is no, nasty. No, 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 no. So did you, you suspected he was taking your socks? Yeah, I thought he was just taking my socks. Because he wanted to wear them. Yeah, just to wear them, yeah. Because he took all my clothes, and he would always deny it, but. Okay. Yeah, but he was jerking off go. into them. Yeah. Uh, Fuck, that's crazy, that's dude. How'd you react to that? Believe it or not, him jizzing in my socks was like the least of our worries. <laughs> it was a rough time. Together. Was he taking other people's socks too? No, it was just me and him and his girlfriend. Yeah. You had a girlfriend there? She knows about his ceiling jizzing in her socks? She was worse than him. What in God's name? Damn. Somebody just asked, do, do the crew have shower beers or just an Aussie thing? <laughs> Is that. What is that a mean? shower beer? Fuck yeah. Dude. I mean, I've had a beer in the shower once, I think, just like for a laugh. Hold on. Hannah but called. Definitely not a regular thing. Hannah called, donated five bucks. She said, I poop in the shower and waffle stomp it down the drain. Yeah. No, you don't. I think I don't that's a gag. It. You're got to be a joke. You're trolling. I don't Hannah. know if I told the story about when I convinced one of my roommates that I shit in the, in the tub and waffle stomp it. <laughs> I planned it super detailed ahead of time. Because we used to fuck with each other and try to convince each other the most ridiculous thing. So I, I casually brought it up. I was like, yeah, I shit in the shower and stomp it down. And he's like a clean freak. He's OCD. It was Isaac. He's like, please tell me you don't do that. He started melting down. He's like, you're fucking with me. I said, call, call my friend, call my buddy Kareem. And we had planned this all out ahead of time <laughs> with two other friends. And he goes, Kareem, do you, do you shit in the shower? He goes, yeah, everyone shits in the shower. <laughs> and I was like, bro, what are you talking about? I was like, call James. Uh, call James. Uh, James was like, yeah, I shit, in the sh I shit in the shower sometimes. And he was like, please, God, please <laughs> tell me you're kidding. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> having like existential crisis. <laughs> he's good. And he's Deep a clean water. freak. Yeah, he's a total clean <laughs> freak. And obviously we were sharing a shower. <laughs> So he said, at one time I was forced to poop in the shower and I had to transplant it into the toilet. Dude, what, what? the hell? situation were you forced? <laughs> you, my, oh my dumbass cousin puked in the shower when the, the damn toilet was right there. Oh. The fucking guy left it for like five days. That oh. was... Hugh Jass said, I have to shower with the toilet seat down. It freaks me out to look at the water in the toilet. Wait. <laughs> I have a weird phobia about it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I what? can see that. Yeah. There you go. So. <laughs> oh, University of Oregon recently put out a notice asking students not to pleasure themselves in the showers. Mm. I got a feeling <laughs> that probably happens a lot. The thing college. that people don't understand is that when semen gets wet, it turn it's really like it, it can clog into a very shit. Very strange like yeah. consistency. It gets yeah. like um new uh, <laughs> Newtonian fluidy. <laughs> right. It just it gets sticky and it doesn't um, mix like with the up. water. Yeah. That's it weird. It tastes good. It does taste good though. It's like a milk, a different type of milk. People like semen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, semen is is it's disgusting. It's revolting. All right, y'all have to be on the road at four thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Goat Hopkins right gave now. ten bucks. They said I'm taking a risk sending this because I'm broke, but I have a video. That I think will make video laugh. It's poop related, and I love to try to make Ethan laugh. Um, I don't know if we, we have time have for a video. It Send it to. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, just try to, to if me. you can get Dan, then send him the video. Yeah, yeah just DM us. All right, guys. Time for some TGIF Fridays. <laughs> Wait. Let's plug before we go. What? Oh, the cards. Yeah, the cards end. The pre-sale ends tonight. So this is your last chance to get the H3 cards. Did we get a sales update, Cam? This is, it's ending tonight at midnight? They, at midnight East Coast time. So actually, if you're on the West Coast, 9, uh, 9, 9 p.m. And if you're in oh. Hawaii or Alaska, I don't remember what the time difference is, but a few hours prior to that. So the, here you go, guys. This is your last chance to get the H3 trading cards. All profits 
are going directly to the crew. I am not taking any of it. And these will never be sold again. They're no. limited edition. Yeah. Uh, they're very shiny collectibles. Here. So Same get range. your hands on these before before they're gone. <laughs> Look at that. Pristine. High They're quality. really cool. So they go 25 bucks. Um, they have it. Uh, Raptrading.co. Yeah, and the link is in the description. Link if is you in don't the description. open the package, you can wow. you sell it on eBay. In Six the, and a half thousand sales, Cam. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's nuts. That's going to be like a real, some serious money there for you guys. Shut up. Wait. That's great. Well, we're good. We're splitting it with him, so I guess it's not as much. Whoa, dude, that's a lot of money. Nice. Yeah, Mr. Rap Trading. Uh... Well, so, he deserves it. I mean, these are amazing. Yeah. He did such like they're they're so legit. If you've ever like played Magic or Pokemon cards or whatever, it, it's like a real trading card. Like, yeah. The, the yeah, card thickness is perfect. The foil, the you know reflectiveness. You guys on are it each gonna really get nice. like ten thousand bucks, I think. Yeah, you spoke too soon when you said we could keep it all, so thank you. No, I don't care. I'm happy. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah, well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Me so much. Appreciate it. That was very kind of you guys. Zach's going to get that rolling. That's sick. Zach, I know. You're almost there. I, I, it's going to uh, be there. Yeah. Gonna, you have like a rolly bank account where you I stock do, it? And do you is, really? This is going to this is gonna do it for me. That's so is funny. It? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, and, and <laughs> that's a red trading again because really he worked on this for like seven yeah. months. We were going back and forth with him. So. He's a G man. Yeah. Do, do you do you want to know exactly how much we were getting each, or you have the number? <laughs> yeah, I calculated it real quick. If yeah, tell you me. Want to uh, is this is after his cut? After his cut, yes. Okay. So Go ahead. plus or minus a couple hundred bucks, six point six k. Oh. Woo! Well, how many Damn. people is that split between? Uh, nine. nine or two. Oh, it's more okay, than I so thought. So a little bit more than. Yeah, nine. Congrats, guys. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Thank I you. love how thank they came the out. They're yeah, really thank cool. You guys. And I guess I should just clarify, this is a pre-order. So mm -hmm. right. one, that's why there's a cutoff. Once the cutoff happens, they're going to make them all and ship them. So it'll take a couple weeks. Some people mm -hmm. were posting that they already got theirs online. That was because they did a very small initial run. We made yeah. like 300 packs. It was like 300 packs or something. I, I was just, so, I was just like, that's just a fun thing. Yeah. I don't want to have, I don't want to get like a bunch of these and just have like tons of packs. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. sure what the demand would yeah. be. But so the, the, the first 300 people or whatever that ordered, they got their shipped immediately. So that's why you're seeing some people with them. But yeah. if you, if you pre-order, expect like a month wait or so. Is the, is yeah. the card guy stoked, Cam? So you have... Oh, he so, must be stoked. Oh, yeah. So I'll be yeah. talking to him. Uh -huh. He's actually very young. He goes to school. He's one person. Wow. Whoa. So this is not the, like a big corporation. Wait, what, what do you mean school? Like school. university or like high school? Uh, he's, in, he's in college, yeah. He's okay. College. Yeah. But he's an entrepreneur. Cool Really yeah, good guy, yeah, really nice yeah, guy. Yeah, he sent me a very nice message saying it was basically... Yeah. Like oh, yeah, yeah. Him, yeah. I've been chatting with him, fix, doing the social media stuff, and he's so nice, so... He's stoked? Yeah. Everyone involved is, like, very, very deserving. He's very easy to work with. He's always readily available, too. Like, whenever I DM him, he immediately messaged me back. Like, that's how he got the sales amount. He's, what a he shout just out. He's this guy, too. this is an entrepreneur there right go. here. That's inspiring. Yeah, grind. Go, to, go on Shark Tank. Get, we make were, a Shark Tank pack. Or don't go. You don't need them. No, you just go for the exposure, and then all <laughs> your business is worth like 50 million bucks or something. <laughs> the Instagram post we, p we planned during the show, uh, he said, I got to go to class, uh, <laughs> so wait one hour, and then I can post it. <laughs> we love he's a good student, too. Yeah. He's hiring yeah. his friends out to help ship the stuff, too. And I also got to say, I don't know if you want me to say this or not, but in celebration of the massive sale, he uh, bought himself a Rolex. So, you know, shout out to him. The what? what? Wait, the rap? That guy did? Yeah, he bought he himself a He got one a before Zach? Wait, are you he fucking did? serious? Yeah, he bought himself a Roly. <laughs> he told you that? <laughs> yeah, he sent me a... I'm, I'm gonna send Wait, I want to see the photo. What yeah, the on. hell? Okay, yeah. player. He knows how to... He knows how to spend it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> dude, what the hell, dude? Okay. So funny. Treat yourself. What do you think, Zach? It's beautiful. Beautiful watch. You just saying that? No, it's a B just too. I mean, it's not the it's not the one I would. How get, much is it, Zach? Okay, <laughs> this isn't the baller one. I don't know. I'm not saying it's not baller. That, that is a baller fucking dope ass watch. Yeah. I, I'm just saying I want a different type. Yours is yours is more expensive. 
Mm, which one do you want? Submariner. That's it's a I green want. one, right? Yeah, I think I want to go for the black one. The black uh, one's really cool. Well, how much? Uh, how much is this one versus how much is the one you're getting? Uh, ballpark. I I could be way off, but his could be twelve and mine's like fifteen. Okay, so same same yeah, price. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, congrats to Rap Trading. Yeah, dude. That's He's crazy, bro. Everyone's yeah. getting fucking paid from this guy. I'll, I'll be buying, a, I think, a, an apartment with my money. Hey. Buying? Yeah, in Sweden it's very common to buy an apartment instead of renting. Really? Huh. So, yeah. Like a down payment? Yeah, you take a loan and you pay, pay a loan instead of rent. So like it, a condo it's usually even like. cheaper. Wait, cheaper, like yeah. working class people or like your friends, let's say, who are just working like a retail job or something, just to give an example, they can afford to buy an apartment? Yeah, you're going to pay maybe wow. seven to, well, I mean, you can live outside the city. You can get an apartment for probably 500 bucks a month. With to like buy? Loan. Yeah. Wow. Well, the, the bank is technically going to own it because you're yeah, it's a mortgage. Well, it's a mortgage, yeah. but like... Yeah, but then you just sell it and usually you can make some profit too. So. That's Brutal. wild. What a nightmare we live in this live country in is. I mean, in Israel too, it's, impo it's like impossible to... But I think buy. Sweden has like strong uh, housing regulations and uh, stuff. Yes and know. no. It's mixed. But well, because when we were in Stockholm, which is the capital... It's like the major metropolis city of Sweden, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. So we were in the main part of Stockholm, and they were telling us like penthouse apartments in that area was 500 bucks. Damn, what the fuck? No, that's probably I not true. Think so. well, that was a while ago too, right? Stockholm is known to be extreme, like, like tenfold expensive, more expensive than the city. I don't think it was cheap, like 500. I remember being shocked, like shocked at the prices. You can't there. get an apartment we in my city York, for that we? little. I guess we came there from New York where we were paying $3,500 for like a studio. <laughs> Crazy. Five. That was 30 LA's getting like Holy that. Holy shit. Not that far <laughs> off. Something like that, yeah. The place we were in New York, yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. It was just like one room, wasn't it? And then, Not like, it, I mean, yeah. Well, there was... But it was There was no two, kitchen. <laughs> I mean, there was a bedroom, the living area, which was... And the entrance was... And the... Ba uh, it was tiny, bro. It was... The whole thing was so tiny. 200 square feet, probably. 200. Jeez. Nice neighborhood, though. Great location. Yeah, for West Side. How much percentage do usually people usually pay of their uh, monthly? Twenty-five percent is the is the quote unquote ideal. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people spend more than that, though. Here. Oh yeah, yeah especially majority. now. Yeah. With in the last couple of years, everything skyrocketed. So. I can 5%. say it's similar in Sweden too. So mm. that makes sense. A little bit more usually even. Crazy. Or I hear sometimes a quarter or a third. Third seems too high to me. A quarter, third is, is probably usual if you want to live in the s main city, in, in my city at least. Well, good. I mean, that's great news. Good for you, bud. Get out there and get a slice of heaven. All right, guys. Happy Friday. Get out there. TGIF. Rumor has it that Gabe is still there enjoying <laughs> his food. Second appetizer, second entree, because it's Friday, baby. Mm. TGIF. Mm. Yo, I feel like TGIF, the restaurant, could benefit a lot from a partnership with us. For sure. Right. Sponsoring the show? Oh, just because. Yeah, so I'm a fucking yeah. center. How much we got up Fridays? Right. If, if you work T at the corporate office of TGIF and you're looking for please, a podcast, please, please, reach out. please, please, TGIF, we need sponsors desperately. <laughs> Boing? You want to go out to eat tonight with the kids? How about without the kids? We have someone? Um, yeah. All right, let's yeah. talk about it off there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. Thanks for watching.